Dude, eggnog fucking sucks, chat. Eggnog is fucking bad. Coming out to say it once and for all. And you know what? I can tell you I didn't have an alcoholic version of eggnog, but I can tell you another thing. I could tell by tasting normal eggnog that alcohol wouldn't make it taste any better. It would just make it taste the same, but maybe a little bit worse. The only thing that the alcohol does for the eggnog is alter your judgment to the point where you would drink just about any disgusting slop put in front of you so long as it had that good, good juice inside, chat. Don't lie. Why are you lying, though? Why would you, why would you, why would you lie, though? You know? What's the point of all the lying? You got nothing to prove. What even is an eggnog? Tomato. Got egg in it. Milk. And then some bullshit. Oh yeah. It's trash. I got coer- people tried to coerce me into eating it, drinking it, a while back. Tasted some. Uh, oh man. I felt like... I f it was so much, chat. It was- I could taste... I could- I could taste how bad it was for me the second it touched my goddamn lips and my body tried to stop it. My body tried to stop it by any means necessary and it wasn't enough. It's crungo as hell, man. All right. There's no reason to do that to yourself. You don't need to. Okay. I get food recommendations based on what tomato doesn't like, TBH. So you're so now you're going to seek out eggnog in the in the middle of June like a fucking weirdo, huh? You sure you want to do that? It's going to get you put on a watch list, freak. This is gonna get you put on a fucking watch list, and you'll deserve it. Why is it sold year-round? Dude, they should make it so fucking impossible to get, it's like one day. Because at least then, it'll be super obvious who's going to the store to get eggnog so I can avoid them. You know, I'll be able to see them coming. Know what I mean? Like, if they make it an event... Like, I don't know, like the same thing they do for Black Friday. I'll sometimes be driving around on Black Friday doing other stuff, and I'll look out my window and I'll see all of them. Those animals. The animals. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The animals. And I'll try to commit some to memory, and I'll say, those people aren't. Those aren't. They aren't with me. They aren't with me. Stay away from me. Don't come near you know? Who even goes in person anymore? I don't know. I feel like people still do because I still keep hearing about folks getting randomly, violently trampled, which means they must still be going in person or else no one would be trampled. Chat? These things go hand in hand. There must be a crowd for there to be a trampling, you know? I have no idea how long today's stream is going to be. It might end up, chat, this might end up being like the three hour danger stream. Because I have d and I've had d and and a lot of stuff going on. I have not streamed much, but I have had a lot going on. Uh, both IRL in my life. Off stream with other prior obligations. Etc, etc, etc. It is, it is killing me, chat. It is killing me. My body is starting to break down. It's starting to, it's starting to not go so well. Do you have two D and D today? I don't I I have one D and D today. People are like spreading look chat. Okay, here's the thing. I've seen this like in the fucking like Discord. If you don't know the schedule, don't tell people what the schedule is. Cause I have seen multiple people going like, yeah, dude, Tomato's got like four D and D sessions today, bro. And then other people are like, whoa, dude, he's got four sessions of D&D &D today. 
and then he's streaming again. He's doing more D&D for the next eight days in a row because like idiots are just like not, they're just like taking it upon themselves to be polite and tell people what's going on, but they don't know the answer and they haven't checked it. So they're just saying bullshit that confuses everyone. You aren't getting a prize for answering them. You know what I mean? <laughs> you aren't like, I'm not gonna send you a medal because you answered them, especially answered them wrong. All the information from my D&D sessions is very easily available. You can find them just by checking the uh, pattern of my D&D sessions, you know, on my announcements. This is the only day where there is an anomaly. The only day. So all I ask is that if you are answering someone about D&D, &D, get it right. <laughs> Don't confuse them by saying something completely out of left field. Please. Because then I get asked today, dude, what, what is, what's going on, DDF D&D in &D, two minutes, bro? Are you doing like, what's, what kind of stream is this, dude? Did Tomato stop doing face cam for the intros? Yeah, I'm done with them already, Chad. I definitely didn't just forget to turn it on. Yeah, I, de I decided in a real, I'm putting my foot down. It's over. Like many things, if I don't do it one time, it must be canceled forever. Like many things. Lo the the, the long-standing tradition. I thought it would be too much for you. Gave up this quickly, huh? The chat, the actual reason is because it's fucking hot in my office right now. <laughs> it's fucking hot in here. Oh, it's real hot in here. And it's not even that hot. He's sweating. You'd never be able to see his sweat because I'm actually wearing a, uh, I'm wearing, I'm wearing clothes that hide sweat, but I'm always sweaty. All right, let's get it. Let's get it honest. Let's be honest here, chat. Streaming is a sweaty job, especially in the summer. There ain't, you're going to, you're not going to see if a streamer, they're faking it. Okay. They're faking it or they have a condition if they're streaming in the summer. Okay. I don't care how good your AC is. No, 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 no. I don't care how good your AC is. It doesn't matter. Because computers fucking counter everything your fucking AC is going to do, especially once you break the two PC setup. Especially once you once you achieve two PC setup and your mixer also has a small fan in it, etc., 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 etc. You're never getting out of there, you know? Oh my god, he said two PC setup again. Look, I'm sorry you can't perfectly stream to a second PC, therefore cutting out all of the technological load of the streaming process onto a second, also extremely powerful PC. My bad, man. My bad that you can't do that. Oopsie daisy. Sorta of Krongo. Oops. Do sloth bit next. No. Look, chat. At the end of the day. Okay. At the end of the day. At the end of the day. All right. I don't owe you anything. I don't have to turn on my webcam ever again. Okay. Especially when it's this hot in my fucking office. I don't need to do this. Plus, I'm always, like, fucking scared that, like, it's going to turn on and then it's immediately going to fall behind the desk and it's going to land on a mousetrap and you guys are going to die. <laughs> I've got a mousetrap behind my desk now because that's where I saw, like, that little... That, that's where, like, uh, mice... I've seen mice wander before. I don't know how mice keep getting into my office, but there's always, like, sometimes there's one. I got them right behind my PC now because I'm afraid they're going to, like, get to the wires. And, like, if the fucking webcam falls, which it does tend to do... You guys will die. You'll be killed by the mousetrap. It will fucking rip you in half. Did you name them the mousetraps or the mice? Because the answer is neither. Okay. 
The last mouse I saw, I freed, but after that, I said there will be no more mercy. Okay. The mice haven't earned it anymore. They're, they, I, I gave them two outs. Anyone else that gets in, they're dead. Okay. I don't have the time for mercy is past. It's over. I kill now. Well, I don't kill uh, the like fucking 12 different mouse traps uh, peppering the border of my property in my room kill. Okay. Chat, I've gotten close to tuning the fucking hurdy gurdy properly. It's like almost ready. I just need to reapply the cotton on one more fucking string and it's there. I've been doing it slowly, slowly over time. Real slowly. Dude, I almost wanna just turn on my AC just so I can fucking run it and piss people off and they can all be like, dude, why is this stream fucking quality so bad today, dude? You think it'll make people like, you think if I turn it on and the webcam at the same time, it'll like throw people into a fucking total wor like wormhole of confusion? Because the webcam will imply quality, but the fucking audio is going to throw them off their game so hard and they'll start panicking. Dude, that's actually fucked up. Oh my god. Hang on. Ah. Hang on. Is that what the webcam is supposed to imply? It's a 4K. All right. It's a 4K high power USB webcam that goes directly into the second PC of my setup. Perfectly synced with my microphone for the ultimate streamer experience. I've, I, I pressed the button to turn on the AC. It's not over yet. It, that's it's that's normal. That's that's the normal volume. It's so loud. I look, chat. There's a there's a strong there's a strong wind. There, there's a there's a wind front coming in from the fucking from the west. Okay, and it, we can't avoid it. I've got a fucking I've got a hole in my wall. There's a tornado outside. I need something, okay? Why are you so sweaty? I'm not sweaty. I'm not sweaty, I feel sweaty. But uh, I'm not actually that sweaty right now. But uh, I, f I feel sweaty. Long sleeves. I wear, th this doesn't change anything for me, chat. Like that my temperature, my temperature regulation is fucked. Honestly, the only thing that's making me hot right now is that I'm wearing socks. Like that that's genuinely it. All of my heat, all of my heat, goes through my hands and my feet, like genuinely. Like I will I will lose all of my temperature based on exactly what is on my hands and feet. If I put on mittens right now, I'd die. Like I, I could be completely, completely nude. But if I was wearing gloves and socks, I would start to die in here. Big heat sinks, big heat sinks. Should I just like put a, like, people are gonna start coming in and being like, Tomato, what is that sound? If I just put like a, like, text thing, start to edit the display. My AC is broken. I can't turn it off. Oops. Winky face. <laughs> now, no one's gonna ask any questions. That is such a big title. It can, hang on, it's easier not to slide it. It's easier just to squeeze it. Okay, that's bad. Hang on, no, 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 actually, yeah, that works. My AC is broken and I can't turn it off. Oops, wink. Dude, I run my AC. I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't do that pussy shit where I tell my AC to just sustain a temperature, okay? I, I run my AC at the absolute maximum lowest it can go. And then I turn it off randomly when I realize I'm fucking freezing to death in my own house. Like I don't, I don't do, I don't do middle ground. 
Okay, I, I try to, I, I, I only do extremes in every direction. If I'm cold in my house, I'm pumping that shit up to 95 and I'm gonna see if my, I'm gonna see how long it takes for my fucking heater to get there. And usually it doesn't. Dude, that's my, that might be the best looking text I've ever made in OBS because I can't figure out how to make lower resolution text. I shouldn't have fucked with it. I made a big mistake fucking with it. Okay. That doesn't even look like a wink anymore. What is that? Use impact font. I don't even know if I own impact. Do they package that for free? Oh, I have impact. Ew. Ew. What the fuck? Ew. Now italicize it. I'm not like a fucking monkey with symbols, okay? I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna, ooh, put it on wingdings, dude. Dude, wingding it, dude. I gotta get the, I gotta get a laugh in, dude. I need a laugh, please, dude. I'm dying, dude. If I get one more laugh, I can finally die. I just need one, man. You make me sick. But I might put it on Comic Sans. I might, I might Comic Sans it. One last laugh, dude. One more. Nurse. Nurse. Please. Yeah, we're not gonna chat, look, okay? This eggnog game is like, it's like Papers, Please, but with eggnog, okay? Apparently, it's pretty good. And by apparently, it's pretty good. I mean, 10 people have reviewed it, so really, the pool to decide if it's actually good is small. It, it could be awful. But the good news is, I might, I may not even turn it on. <laughs> but this might end up being like a like three like two or three hour intro stream, and I never switch to it because I'm fucking like I'm I'm trying to like kill. I I don't want to do a whole big stream today. I have D and D at like nine tomorrow. Like I had D and D yesterday at seven. I'm gonna have D and D again on Saturday at seven. I've been I've been getting sent through the fucking D and D hellhole. Okay, and it's not getting any better until uh, the goblins die today. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, okay? I'm gonna be honest about something. All right. All right. Goblins have been fucking, we've been owning. Uh, no one else, no one else could say that. Okay, the goblins, I feel like if we didn't even show up today for the boss fight, the goblins would still be considered like okay in everyone's books because we just, I mean, I have vi I, we have footage, video evidence that I can beam into people's heads of Skagzag fucking wrestling the, like the the god the baby Lagos thing in the in the in the fucking tub. Like we have we have fucking video footage of Skagzag teleporting into Lagos's little tub and beating the shit out of him in like a hell in the cell, a hell in a cell. Like we had a cage match between two. We had two babies cage match. All right, last session. That's like, that's where our fucking D&D &D direction has gone. Wait, I, I don't usually fucking talk about like D&D &D specifics like this, chat. I try to keep a little spoiler free, but Skagzag, Skagzag is our wild mage and we went to fight like the antagonist of our campaign, the one that pissed us off the most. And it's like this little fetus baby thing in a like toxic cube, tub that we can't get into, but Skagzag's a wild mage and he had just gotten the effect to teleport 20 feet at a time. So we just teleported into the horrible acid goop in the tub and just started actually trying to choke hold the boss, who is a, like a little baby. Like it's not a strong physical entity, this boss. So Skagzag goes in and starts fucking beating the shit out of this baby. Like as it's screaming and trying to get away, Skagzag passes out in the acid and starts melting because the acid does like 30 necrotic damage a tick every turn unless he succeeds a constitution saving throw. So we're like dying, we're losing the fight. We're rezzing Skagzag and hoping he'll succeed a constitution saving throw so he can leave because he has so little health. And he just keeps passing out. He keeps going unconscious inside the thing. He finally succeeds and wakes up and catapults the baby with a dagger and just fucking rips them in half in like one move. 
and does like double damage to this thing inside of a box where it can't fight back. <laughs> it can't fight back. We just start fucking, we just start ripping this thing to goddamn shreds. It was fucked up. It was actually fucked up. It didn't know how to get away. He lived? Oh, he lived. Most of his skin was gone, but Skagzag survived inside of an acid tub while beating the shit out of a baby in the tub. Like, and none of, all of us just had to watch. I've, I've never seen anything like it. I've never had a fight get carried by one person so hard. I mean, like, we helped him. Like, Pikel was healing him. I was, I had Bardic Inspiration to him, though he never ended up needing it because he was never so close that he had to actually take my roll bonuses. But, like, it was, it was heroic. It was, it was, if he hadn't done that chat, I was, like, I was looking around at what was going on in that room. If he had done that, we would have fucking died. Like, I feel like if we would have wiped last night, had it not been for Skagzag's uh, moves, specifically because of how hurt we got at the beginning, me and Skagzag. Did the gas mechanic ever get used? No, but neither did the bridge mechanic the inevitable had. Like, we... Dude, here's the thing. We have such a way of fucking randomly doing insane amounts of damage, like, off of weird circumstance, that, like, most enrage mechanics don't really bother us, because we just suddenly get lucky as shit and do a ton of damage. But our rolls last night were so bad, I actually couldn't chat. We got, like, fucking 20 nat ones last night while we were playing. And, like, nat ones in Brett's games mean you just don't, get it doesn't matter how many bonuses you get on that roll it will not apply so like we get a plus 10 on certain rolls and because it's in that one it doesn't matter it doesn't matter that it's like an 11 it doesn't it doesn't matter so yeah that that sucks we got bodied but we still lived and now we get to come in at 9 p.m tonight and finish the fight for everyone else even though we've already done the most work out of anyone in the entire campaign all of them all right don't ever forget it don't ever forget that the goblins that everyone dumped on ended up doing the most work to stop this intergalactic threat okay don't ever forget that the goblins are the ones that did it okay the only reason only reason half this shit happened okay is because of the goblins okay We've killed God twice. Twice. We've done it twice, and we're about to do it a third time. Everyone else, only only the fucking Astral Academy has, has participated in another fight, and they helped, and that was good on them. But at the same time, at the same time, they only did it because goblins told them to. <laughs> God, they did it. They... They only did, they only fought that, that guy because we fucking social, we like socially hacked them, okay? Because I kept telling them if they didn't do it, they'd regret it. Which was true, I wasn't like lying. And I was right. Always validated, always proven correct. Dude. So yeah, we'll be done with goblins today. Unless we end up doing a third season today. Tonight will be the last session of Goblins. Ever. We may not come back to those characters. We might die. Like, this is actually... Like, it genuinely might be like a we are all dead thing. So, that'll be cool. My Wednesdays will finally be free. And, good news. Uh, if they... If I do continue Goblins, we've already agreed to start it later in the day. So, um... It won't affect my streams anymore. The only reason I'm going short today and not doing a longer stream is only because I'm like tired. Like I'm, I've been, I've been doing a lot of stuff this week, like off, off stream prepping stuff. So I've been, I've been a little, a little blasted, but uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be pretty, it'll be pretty, pretty good. And then Shrine of Sin is almost done on Saturday. You only got like two more sessions of that or something. And then we either get put into the campaign where we have to take care of a kid for a year and a half or we get sent to um session purgatory where we either a get put into another season in the year in the future or uh we never ever ever hear from verb again and he dies 
might happen. I can live with it. I mean, I'll be bummed that Verp is dead. But if we don't... Look, if Verp isn't in the fucking public eye for more than 30 seconds, you can assume he drowned. He forgot to, like, breathe on... He, I mean, te technically, he can breathe underwater. But what if he forgets he can and he just, like, swallows a bunch of water and then, like, dies? You know? I feel like that's a Verp thing. Like, he's underwater long enough and he gets, like, confused. What about the Angels campaign? Look, chat, I'd love to do the Angels campaign. The more I've thought about it, the more I want to do it so fucking bad. More than Divine Wind. Like, more than anything, I want to do that campaign. But the logistics of being, like, of that for Arcadum are so brutal that, like, I'm not holding my breath. Even though I really want to do it. And I know a lot of the other group wants to do it as well. I know, like, a lot of the community wants that to happen. I'm not about to go in and be like, Dude, let's do the fucking angel campaign, dude. When, like, Arcadum's already got that much on his plate. The only way I could see it working logistically is if, like, we're doing, like, smaller packed sessions. Like, it's split into multiple parts our campaign. Like, that was the only thing I thought of. And, like, I don't know the logistics of it because I'm not a DM and I'm not Arcadum setting it up. But I was thinking, like, uh, like, what if we did the stuff relating to Glaeus and Kalkatesh now because that stuff already exists that stuff's like already that world is designed we can do that stuff first because it'd be the most familiar for our characters tail that stuff and then we can have like the other stuff split into like segments which gives which means like we would have longer breaks between our seasons or whatever you know Arcadum already has space stuff designed, though. Yeah, but that's chat. There's a difference between having, like, baseline concepts designed and having the story of a zone designed. And the Angel's Grace thing, from what Arcadum told us, is a lot of, like, it, just from, like, hearing his base description in, like, the session, that's a lot of work. Like, I, I, I started getting anxiety thinking about how much work that was. Like, I, that's a lot of work. Especially a lot of work to fucking realize you have to do so close to the startup of your two main campaigns that you are currently putting all your time into designing. That's a lot of work to just suddenly, you know, just dump onto someone and be like, okay, now do this one, you know? That's making, that's making five more fucking contents playable. That's a lot, you know? But yeah, if it ends up happening, I'm extremely down, but I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, it's happening. But I mean, I don't know. I just don't want to put Arcadum into a weird spot or anything, obviously, you know. Out of curiosity, have you played all of the God of War games? I have played all of them except for the spinoffs. Yeah. Aren't one or two of the continents just from older campaigns, though? Yeah, which is why, which is if you scroll back into the VOD, like, fucking five minutes, you'll see my explanation for what could happen and would make the most sense to me from, like, an outsider looking in, you know? How many groups can get into Divine Wind? Uh, anyone that says they want to do it and has been offered it from Arcadum, which is anyone, <clears throat> I believe, in... Uh, the Phase 1 groups that wants, and also any of the Prologue groups are going to be put into, like, a coin flip. So we don't have like, we don't have, we don't have any higher chance of getting it than anyone else that has also said that they want. And that's how I think it should be. Uh, I don't want it to be some situation where it looks like, where like someone gets like fucking favorites. Like, I, I don't want that. I want it to be, I would ra I really prefer it to be ra random chance. Cause that, that, then I could be like, all right, I didn't get it. I, I didn't get, I didn't get lucky this time. Whatever, you know? So yeah, that's fine by me. Could groups end up switched around? Yeah, probably. I mean, it probably won't happen. I don't see why, like, I don't see why that would happen unless someone in one of the groups that gets picked for something is like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I don't have time. Switch me out, like, beforehand, you know? So, probably won't happen, but, like, I'm not opposed to, like, I really like my group, but, like, I'm not, technically, like, I wouldn't be opposed to showing up in other stuff, obviously. That doesn't, that doesn't bother me in anything, like D&D &D or anything else. Like, I'm fine playing with people I don't know to do stuff. I, I don't care, you know?
Ugh. I can't believe my my goddamn AC chat. I can't believe the touch screen on this thing broke. And now I can't turn it off and it's got a oh damn it. And the plug I put a goddamn mouse trap right on top of the outlet so I, I can't unplug it either. I can't stop the the cool air from coming out. You know? I can't. I've already tuned it out. Nice. Must be fucking nice as a chat member. Dude, look. At the end of the day, chat, I just, I just want Verb to have a mech now. Like it's gone up a tier. I used to think I just want him to have a gun. Now I know they're mechs, and I, I kind of want a Pacific Rim, this motherfucker. I want to punch something so hard with a big metal hand. Why not both? Why not both attach? Why not big gun on mech? I don't know, I'm just thinking, like, you know. It could be... Look, it's, it's, my, it's my destiny, okay? It's my destiny. It's my destiny. Pacific Verp. Though all technically, <laughs> as far as tech cleric is concerned, he doesn't have any moves, does he? <laughs> like I, I'm like a I'm like a fucking level one tech cleric, and I'm not, not even that. I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm just like I've just got like fucking random plot power. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really have anything yet. I can't like I can't like tech. I, I, it's not like I can like. Get to someone, like, look at someone's, uh, like, fucking phone and steal their data. I can't, like, drop the connectivity of the, like, the cloud connectivity in the area or anything. One day I want to be able to do something. I hope I get something cool. I mean, of course, I've gotten cool stuff. I have that tablet that, I had that tablet that let me see the roam. Inflict Wounds is pretty poggers, though. Inflict Wounds is pretty poggers when it hits. You see, chat. I'm a sicko, though. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've tasted... I've tasted the real dark side, the power of the dark side with Lucky. And I... I genuinely don't know if I can go back, is the thing. The second that I get traits in my hands, I don't... I don't know if I can go back. Because Lucky is so broken. The only... Chat, the only way I can, you know, skip Lucky is if the DM says, you can't do this. Please don't do it to me. Please fucking God, don't do this to me again. You can't. Because chat, Lucky is... Guys, I got so tilted last night. Because I... This is gonna... Look, I'm gonna explain this as best I can. Okay? All right, here's the problem. Last night... I was getting slapped as Clarence in-game. However, however, I was getting slapped harder because an enemy would hit me in-game and be forced to roll at disadvantage against me. So they'd roll, they'd hit me, roll damage, and then they'd hit me again and I would know for a fact that their lower hit did more damage because I would already see the damage that got rolled. And their lower hit, like the one because they had disadvantage, their lower hit would be the one that kills me. Because of my cloak, which gives forced disadvantage on attacks against me. And my AC is so low, was so low, that and they would always, they would always have their fucking hit. They'd always have their hit, so they just get to roll two damage blocks on me. And just like, they can't technically choose, but I get to see how fucking bad the cloak is. Because of these, because I get to see the rolls, okay? So I, dude, I got fucking, I got angry. I don't get angry at D&D &D very much. I got angry last night. When I saw how bad the cloak was for me, I got so mad. I was like, oh my God. If I didn't have my cloak on this whole game, this whole fight, I would have been better off. Because I'm always going to get hit anyways. I have 14 AC at like end game. I'm going to get fucking killed. Yeah, auto-rolling damage with the attack is kind of lame for that reason. Yeah, I mean, like, I get why DMs do it online for, like, speed. Because it takes, it's more time-consuming to do it one at a time. 
But with the Cloak of Displacement specifically, I was like, can we just not fucking roll attack damage right now? Like, I don't want to see what could be because then I had to whip out the fucked up. Then I had to do basically the DM's worst nightmare and I had to tell him I wanted to lucky it because I knew if I luckied it, he might get a higher attack roll on me. Okay, chat, this is what I had to do. His lower attack roll that hit me because he was at disadvantage did more damage. So I had to lucky him because I wanted to force him to get a higher attack roll on me and get a better hit on me so that he could roll his damage again because the damage would be lower and then I wouldn't die. That's how fucked last night got. I had to have, I had to make him roll a better roll on me because it would be less damage on my cloak. That's how fucked it got. I had to actually lucky an enemy so they would do better against me because I couldn't take the damage of their worst roll. That's why I don't think I can dish Lucky again, dude. Lucky fundamentally let me time warp, okay? It was the most, it was the worst thing I've ever had to do in D&D. I hated doing it because it felt so cheesy. It was like extremely cheesy to do it, but the alternative was me genuinely dying. So I had to just fucking, I had to, I had to, I had to time warp it. I time warped last night. Ver <laughs> yeah, Clark basically leaned into a hit. Like, basically, I got hit by a bad glancing blow that took off half of my body, and the second time, once I saw the threads of time, I instead leaned my head into it and just caught it right in the face. And that was actually less damaging and less, less punishing for me. Okay. What if Verp has special traits to choose because he's a faithless cleric? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look. I don't know what the future holds for my characters. What I do know is what the future holds for me. And it's uh, pain and degeneracy. Chat. My friends. I'm putting quotes around it now because they tricked me into this. I got like fucking hacked. I got socially hacked again. They tricked me into turning on and playing Overwatch, and it got bad out there. The only good thing, chat, is that I am a- I'm the fastest Instalock Roadhog in the West, okay? And any, whenever we have fucking randoms in the team, they always remark on it. They're like, whoa, dude, that's a fast hog swap. And I'm like, oh yeah, I know what I am, okay? Oh no? No, 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 chat. Here's one thing. Roadhog is like playing Lawbringer and For Honor, okay? Same energy. It's a toxic entity from hell that I don't get angry dying as because he's so fucked that, like, I just can't get mad. I can't get mad. I only get mad when I play other characters. When I play Hog, all I do is look for someone. I look for people with low health and just <clears throat> grab them and grab them and pull them in. Like a frog. And... Man, we played some in-houses, and I had the biggest fucking smile on my face because I would just hunt these people. I had... I had Dave and Manda playing Tracer against me, and nothing nothing really hits quite as well as the maximum range Roadhog hook that they don't think you can do because I've played Roadhog for fucking hundreds... I For dozens of hours, I've hogged, okay? So I know the range on his hook and grabbing someone from that far away and they just start screaming as the hook comes in because they know it's over? Chat. Chat. Nothing like it. You can love or hate Overwatch. I don't know how I feel about it after all these years, but I can say, all right, that nothing beats taking someone's fun away in one click. Okay, nothing beats the the slow motion fucking haul as someone just immediately knows in an instant. Oh, I'm done playing for the next two minutes as I walk all the way back, and oh boy, I'm re I I have like chat my hook accuracy in Overwatch is like <clears throat> like seventy five to eighty percent most games. Okay, I don't miss many hooks. My hooks that I do miss are because of Zarya shields, okay? 
I'm an accurate hog. I, I, I punish. I'm a monster out there. You aim your, you aim to hook them over pits or just you? I don't try to do pit hooks. The only time I do pit hooks is when I'm goofing and I know we've won and I'll jump into the pit and then hook someone into the pit with me and then like emote the wall of the pit as I fall. I'll like spray the wall so they see it at the last second. They'll see like a leak or something. That's, that's what I do. I'm like a toxic hog, but I, I don't, I don't do, I don't do the fucking like stand at the edge and wait for people. Cause then I get angry when I get punished for it for some reason. Like I get, I psych, I psych myself out and then I get mad when someone punishes me by bumping me in. And I'm like, well, I shouldn't have been doing it anyway. So I don't do that. I don't do that. I'm better than that. You know, I'm above that. I don't need to do that. But yeah, I've been playing a little too much lately. It's been it's been like the late night game we've been playing. And I'd like to say that it hasn't been five hours, six hours a night, but it has. And it's like, I want to stop so bad. And like, I don't want to be there. <clears throat> I like playing with my friends, but it's like, I'm not there. I'm not entirely there because I'm having fun. You know what I mean? I'm having, I'm there because the game is like a fucking cursed return of like tiny, tiny dopamine hits. You're ruining Dave's stream schedule. That's not my problem. It's I, I genuinely, it's not my problem. It's not my problem. It's Dave's problem. That's everyone, anyone can stop and leave. Okay. Anyone. That's not my problem. <laughs> I'm not even the one that's like, look, friend, quote, unquote, unquote, unquote. Look, all right. I know that when it reaches 6 a.m., I say, I got to go. I'm getting out. And I get out. Okay. The only concern I ever have when we do these late night things is my voice. So I have to like be careful about that, but it's not my problem. It ain't. Okay. Doesn't matter. Never was. Copium. Hey, hey, what do you mean copium? This is exactly the shit. This is exactly the shit I warned you guys would get copium taken away. This unbelievable. What do you mean copium? No one uses copium, right? You guys are idiots. You guys are so dumb. I'm getting rid of it again. I'm taking it away. I'm gonna replace it with fucking Krungo Spin. Dave's stream got fucking derailed by copium so hard. Dude. I, Dave, did Dave stream today? I don't know. He starts so early. Did he stream? I know he streamed yesterday, which was a really cursed thing. Dude, I don't care what he tells you guys. He had like fucking an hour of sleep that stream. And I don't know how the fuck you do that. I'm at seven and a half right now or like seven, maybe seven flat. And I feel like I'm about to die. Like, I feel like I feel like my body's breaking down. I can feel one of my kidneys stopping. You know what I mean? Like, I can feel one of my two kidneys slowing down. Like, uh, like it's, it's not, it's not pumping so good anymore. My kidney, like it's not pumping the toxicity out of my veins as fast as it should be. All these things. It's not like, I'm not getting the talk. I'm not getting toxicity pumped out of my system by all these organs anymore. And it's just sort of swelling up instead, you know, old, shut up. I'm not old. I'm going to turn 25 in August chat. And you know, 25. That's my year. You know what I mean? That's, that's my year. That's what I'll tell myself to feel better as these bags under my eyes get larger and larger as I lose my, as my youth slips away. Okay. As my youth slips away, I'll tell myself that 25 is my year. Just like I told myself 24 is my year and then nothing happened. You know? Jesus Christ, 25? I'm 24, that's ancient to me. You know I'm still 24, right? I turned 25 in August. Like, I'm still 24. I think. I'm 24. 
You look 32 to 35. No, I don't. One, no, I don't. You guys like do this thing? I definitely do not look like I'm 34. Like, <laughs> stop doing this. You guys are like assholes. Like you're like insane. I look at most like I'm 28. Okay. I do not look like I'm 34. Chat's like, Chat, you just do this thing because you're so fucking, look, dude. Look, dude. You got, you got, you see, you, you lose any credibility when someone then comes in and says, dude, he looks like he's 84, dude. Like, unironically, they come in and do that bit. You've lost your credibility. You, you, it's gone. Like, you're not going to get it. You're never going to get that back. Okay. All right. I'd say I've aged fairly gracefully because all of my aging pain is right back here, right down here. On my lower back, where my body is currently trying to snap in half, okay? My lower back is gonna kill me one day. Chat's like, yeah, like, Chat's like obsessed with like, dude, he's like fucking, he's like, tw he looks like he's fucking, he looks like he's like 30, dude, he looks like he's 80. Chat, like, what's your problem? <clears throat> what's wrong with you? Who did this, like, who hurt you? Like, you being weirdos. You know? Dude, chat's full of Zoomers that are in a rude awakening about aging. Yeah, where are you guys at? Like, 20? Max? Gonna be a fun fucking eight years for you, dude. It's gonna start coming at you fast, fuckers. All right, you're gonna get to 21 and you're gonna be like, oh, cool, I can drink. And two drinks in, you're gonna be fucking 30. And you're gonna be like, wait a minute. What happened to me? Don't even think I'm, this ain't a bit, all right? Fuck you, it's gonna happen to you. Time's gonna start fucking going a lot faster and you're gonna watch, you're gonna watch it all start to go away, all right? And then all of a sudden, it's not going to be so funny anymore. Okay? It's not going to be so funny. And you're going to think back to these moments when you were goofing in chat. And you're going to be like, oh, shit. And then you're going to look back and there's going to be Zoomers calling you old. There's going to be fucking Zoomer Gen 2 Zoomers coming in. All right? And they're going to be calling you old. And you're gonna have to, you're, you're gonna be fucking trying to rationalize any way to not feel, not think that you're that old, okay? You're gonna be, you're gonna be like, nah, dude, that's not me. They're not talking about me. And you're gonna be having gray hairs. You're gonna have a back that hurts at fucking 28. Okay? Your youth is leaving you even now. Okay? It's leaving. It starts leaving the second you hit about 22. I hate to break it to you, your youth starts leaving. And then you have about fucking 30 years of shit bullshit and it only gets worse. Okay? And then you have another 20 years where you're basically dead. You And you're dead the whole time. Okay, your body just doesn't know it yet. Okay, welcome. All right? Welcome, join us. I've already, I've just accepted it, okay? That's the difference. I've just accept, I've accepted it. I'm not, it's not gonna phase me because I already know it's coming. The rest of you are delusional. You just don't get it. You don't get it. You're like, you're like 26 and you refuse to admit what's happening to you. You don't want to look, okay? I'm looking straight into the void and I'm like, all right. All right. You know? I've had back pain since I was 14. Same, dude, because I'm tall. Chet's psychos, dude. They're like, they're idiots. You know what I mean? That's why I want to die by 40. Dude, look. I already know exactly how I'm going to go out. I'm going to be alone in my house. I'm going to choke on spaghetti. It's already guaranteed. Like, that's how I go. It doesn't matter how old I am. That's how I go. I'm not going to get better at it. I'm not going to get better at handling spaghetti. I'm going to be alone in my house and a fucking strand of spaghetti is going to go all the way down to my lungs. I'm not going to be able to pull it out like a clown fast enough before I fucking like, before it gets pulled into my lungs and I choke to death. All right. Hundred bucks. 
a warrior's death. Dude, I look, I'm a fast eater and I'm a I'm a large volume eater, okay? I might not look it from my body's frame, but I'm like the six burgers guy, okay? I'm always fucking hungry. I always need more. My metabolism is trying to kill me and I lose weight so fast that I have to constantly counteract it and it's been that way through my whole family. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a food freak, all right? I eat a lot of food. And sometimes I eat a little too fast and I'm like, I'm like that dog that eats a little too fast. <clears throat> they start like fucking choking on it, all right? Like I will fucking, I, I will sometimes just like not like swallow right and I'll just start dying and everyone will be like staring at me. I'll be like, I'm good, I'm good. And I'll just like start like choking again. And it's like, it's like, I'm not gonna stop. All right, I'm not slowing down just because my body can't handle it. It's not my fault that we as humans are like one of the only fucking idiot species that didn't like evolve an esophagus large enough to handle food volume. Okay? Do you know the self Heimlich maneuver? Nah. Dude, look. When it happens, it happens, and that's when I go. I've already accepted it. It's over. I'm not gonna bother. Look. It's a hell of a way to go down. You know? So just don't be shocked when it happens. It's God's plan. It's gonna be God's plan. I'll die off spaghetti. If I die, I die, you know? It could be worse. I could live the rest of my life and like have to drink eggnog again or something. Get out early before you actually, before your brain starts to trick you into thinking it's good again. You know? I feel like 32 is the perfect age to perish. In comes someone in another like two minutes. It's like, dude, honestly, if you're not going out the door by like fucking, two, like fucking 14, like you're like not going fast enough, dude. It only gets worse after that, dude. Like you guys are fucking weird. <laughs> like, like stop. You guys are fucking like getting crazy. Dude, honestly, dude, Three or four max. After that, they start expecting you to use the toilet. Uh-uh. After that, they want you to use the toilet properly. Life started really going downhill after they made me use toilets. I won't do it. What the fuck have I walked into? We're trying to figure out exactly what year is the best year to die. <laughs> Welcome. Come in, come in, chat, lock the door. Come in, take a seat. Take a seat, we're trying to logically deduce the best time to die. I think, look, all right. I think that as time goes on, the best time to die will land somewhere in the range of like 60 to 75. Cause it, no, 65 to 75. After fucking that, after that your body, like, look, once I beat, once I've gone to like 65 to 70, I'm gonna be like, all right. Honestly, dude, like I'm down for going a little bit longer, but it's getting real shitty out here, you know? Unless we get like 65, you wanna die the year you retire? Dude. Dude. I will, I will, I will have retired before 65. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't want to like, I don't want to tell you that my, my industry moves fast and hard, but I will definitely be done or dead before 65. I will either be dead or I will already be done. One or the other. Because of people like Goolzy with the five gifted subs. Thank you very much, Goolzy. That's going into the retirement fund. I won't be able to get it until I'm 65, unfortunately. And by then I will be dead. Well, chat, isn't the point of retirement that you're basically being told it's time to wrap it up? Isn't that like the point? Isn't that like the, isn't the concept of retirement sort of just a cursed, hey, all right, you've served your purpose, get out. The door's there, you can take as long as you want to get to the door. 
but y y time's up, says the government, says everyone, as they all look at you and usher you towards the Soylent Green Processing Plant. Time to wrap it up. That's not me trying to be, like, freaky or insane. But, I hate to break it to you. It's pretty fucked up out there. You are now a burden on society. Enjoy your twilight years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, all I know is that... Is that when it came to... When, it, when it's come to my elderly family members... I love them to bits. But I don't know if I can take the physical hardships they've taken. Okay? <laughs> like, they've had to deal with some bullshit out there. And I'm watching and I'm like, oh man, gang. When it gets to that threshold... Dude, I'm not gonna be like... I'm gonna be like... I'm gonna be that crazy grandpa, alright? I'm gonna be living fast, okay? I'm gonna be living real fast as an old man. Alright? That, that I've already decided. I'm living pretty slow now. I'm gonna speed up like the expansion of the universe, okay? As time goes, as time goes on, I am going to get faster and faster as I just get crazier and crazier. Like juggling chainsaws on a tightrope shit, okay? You, Tomato, you can't take my license gaming. You can't. You know? Cocaine Grandpa. Look, dude. Adrenaline might be one of the only ways to keep my fucking at, like horrible pain addled back going in my twilight years. It might be adrenaline that keeps me alive. I might need it. I might need to constantly have adrenaline pulsing through my veins. I might go wrestle moose. I mean, I'll lose, I'll die. But man, oh man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat it like a fucking race. You know? Stop streaming at 30, immediately at 70. Yeah, Chad, I'll go on a, I'll go on a 40 year hiatus. All right, at 30, I'll be gone. I'll come back, okay, I'll come back. And I will be doing, I'll be doing some crazy like, evil Knievel shit, okay? I will be, I will be doing some insane stuff. I promise. Track it, get a counter going. At 40, at 40 years after I come back. Okay. Stream would be BRB for the entire hiatus. Yeah, it'll just say like, it'll just have like a big BRB on the screen. The stream will stay on the whole time. Dude, that'd be fucking unbelievable. What if Twitch, I mean, Twitch won't exist in 40 years. We know this. It's gonna be dead in the next 10. Twitch will cease to exist and something else will file it. But if Twitch did exist for 40 years and I walked away, I said, I gotta, I'm BRB, I'm going to the bathroom. And I just don't come back for 40 years. I come back in, I wobble back in. All right. Okay. I wobble back in, I grab the webcam, I take it outside, and what is that? It's a bear in a cage match. Like there's a fucking, there's a goddamn wrestling stage in, this, in the front yard, and there's a bear in a cage on the stage, on the fucking wrestling ring. And I run in, <laughs> and I fucking go for it. The future of streaming. To be fair, if Twitch actually did die, you could just continue back on YouTube. I mean, yeah, but I wouldn't want to. Look, chat, here's the thing. I find, honestly, if you want my genuine business take when it comes to stuff, okay, I get, like, at a certain point, I get fucking bored of platforms. Like, from a, like, I still like doing stuff, obviously, but, like, starting on something new, it intrigues me in a genuine, like, weird way, like, starting stuff fresh, you know? And if there was, like, a new starter-upper that wasn't, like, mixer-busted, I would consider fucking, you know, jumping over there. 
I'm financially able to make a move like that and like be fine. So, tomato, buy my book, gaming. No, it's like there's just like there's genuine. It's genuinely interesting to me. It'd probably be more fun than just going back to YouTube like a fucking, like a dog with its tail between its legs. Back to fucking Daddy Google. Probably more fun. Especially when I'm still posting the VODs. You know? Did something happen with Twitch? Yeah, they're shutting it down tomorrow. This is the last stream. They, Bezos came in, he said he actually didn't know it existed. He didn't realize what it was. He got confused. It's too bad, really, it is. But, hey, you know. How'd this get in the budget? What is this, Carl? Carl, come over here. Come over here, Carl. What is uh, what is all this with all these red marks here that say uh, brand uh, flight risk, flight risk for Amazon? What's all this DMCA stuff too, Carl? Why does it have a bunch of negatives on the profit uh, numbers, Carl? Carl, come here. Uh, what does all this mean, Carl? There's a lot of there's a lot of red here, lots of red. This looks like this whole website's in the red, Carl. Doesn't look like it makes us any money, and it's a and it's a flight risk, and we're getting DMCA threats from it. Are you fucking kidding me? Guys, we only last as long as Bezos doesn't know Twitch exists. Okay, I hate to break it to you. I hate to break it to you. Second Bezos fucking, second someone at Amazon walks up and they're like, hey, did you see this? Did you see we own this? They, we just got like a fucking call we just got a call from Taylor Swift and she's pissed. Fucking some streamer just like played her whole, like her whole big song uninterrupted in the background. Huh? You gotta be kidding me right now. You gotta be kidding me right now. And then they'll fucking take him down. They'll take us all down. They played her whole big song. Carl, what, is, uh, what does Pog mean? What does all this mean? Carl, what is uh, what 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 does any of this mean? I don't understand. It pisses me off. In about five years, AI learning will be some will be so good. Someone will just feed all of Tomatoes vods into an algorithm. Well, I'm a deep fake. Yeah, I've been deep faking. I don't look like this. I stole this from like a fucking guy on Google. I deep fake. I've got a live deep fake. That's why that's what the two PC streamer setup is for. One of the PCs is deep faking me. You know? <laughs> Here he goes again, dude. Here he goes again. Ah. Uh. My fucking voice chat. I don't like feel my voice is fine, but I've got like crust. You know what I mean? I got like crust. I've got that crust going on right now. It's fucking driving me crazy. Hang on. Okay. Sorry, I was checking something. Ah. My fucking throat. Why? Fucking why? Chat, you guys don't have to like monka W every single time I like check something. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to like get anyone. I'm just, I'm just like checking something. I have to like make sure that I didn't like get confused at the date. Dude, I've been trying to coerce my friends into watching Neil Breen movies. Now they don't know. They have no idea. They don't even know who he is. I've been trying to do it. I, I, I got him. I got him, baby. I got him. I got him right where I want him. Okay. Who? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, chat. Don't know what Neil Breen is. Don't know who Neil Breen is? 
You don't know who... Chad, you don't know who Neil Breen is. Some people don't fucking know. Dude, my fucking friends had no idea. And you know how I fucking told... You know how I explained it? Okay. I showed them this picture. I just sent them this. Okay, that's all you need to know. That's it. That's all the context you need. He... Dude, if you guys haven't watched a Neil Breen movie, they are so fucking cursed because the thing is, okay, the thing is, he... It's like the, it's like the room, except Tommy Wiseau got it, like, in his head, all right, that, like, he was... Like, he, like, he owned, he owned it. He owned how bad the movie was, and he kept, like, he, like, started to goof around and stuff because he, everyone was, like, laughing, you know, with him now, et cetera, et cetera. Neil Breen remained unfazed and is convinced that his movies are masterpieces. He is, like, he's, he's, he's pure, all right? He never got tainted by... All of our fucking meme bullshit, it didn't matter to him. He has continued on, as is. Alright? He's fucking crazy. He's, I would say he's insane. But I love that. I have, his movies have fucking, every movie of his I've watched, has, <laughs> they're good. There are a couple on Amazon. If you haven't watched them, you should. Okay, you should watch at least one with friends. Don't watch it by yourself, you'll die. You need someone to pull you out if it gets too bad. Okay? But, holy hell. If you watch him with a friend or two... Bro. Bro. What the fuck? You know? Yeah, no, 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 for real, for real, for real. Do not watch it without friends. Like, you have to. You have to watch it. You have to watch it with friends or you'll die. You'll die on the spot. I watched, I watched my first Neil Breen movie at Sark's place at, like, a movie night. That was my, my first exposure was in a group of, like, fucking ten people. In like a backyard. And I, I would say the more people you can get, the better. And more specifically, the more people you can get that have no idea who Neil Breen is. Because it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna give them some serious whiplash when they're expecting like a normal stupid movie. And they get like this unbelievable, like insane crap just the pouring out. Alright. What is the best? I watched... Which one did I watch? Hang on, I'd have to go to his IMDB. I can't, I've seen, I've seen a couple, but the first one I watched was... Fateful Findings, I think. I think? Was Fateful Findings the one where people... No. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, there it is. I watched Pass Through. I watched Pass Through. Pass Through was the one where he was an AI uh, from the future who travels to modern day Earth to wipe out 300 million bad people and usher in a new era of peace. That I just read out the fucking, I read it out. I read out the thing. All right, it, it, it's, a, it's a doozy. That one's a doozy. He's a cyborg Jesus in that one. He always plays the main character. All right, he always he always plays the main character. Oh, dude! Everyone, keep your eyes on him. All right, he's gonna change the game. He's gonna change the game. It's like an event. Who am I? Isn't that a moral? But that's corrupt. <laughs> That's one of, like, the more popular clips of Neil Breen. You can probably find that if you look it up. The, him, him talking to politicians in a fucking, like, fancy house. As they all just talk about, I'm a bad person. And then he's just right next to him. But that's wrong. <laughs> oh, it's so good. 
It's so good. If I really wanted to ruin everyone's day, though, I would just make us. I would, I would lock the Discord down so no one can get out, and I wouldn't fucking let anyone leave till we watch like five of them. We've watched every single one he's ever made. That's how you kill a man. That's how someone dies. You you lock the door down. You don't let him go. Okay. God. Who would fall first? Of the people that are joining to watch it, who would fall first? Sam. Sam won't be able to take it for very long. Sam, Sam will, Sam will go down and he's like early. Mainly because he has like a life to live, and like he'll look around and he'll realize that this isn't worth the suffering, and he'll get out. That'll, that'll be that. He won't be there for very long. You know? I wish, though. I fucking wish. I wish. Oh, my God. I've been missing. Dude, I've been real bad about notifications lately. I swear to God. Like, I miss a lot of stuff, and most of the time I also have my fucking notification thing closed. And then I don't see anything, and then when I open it, it's just gone. I don't even get the notifications that happened while it was closed. So, uh, you know. Thanks for giving me money, chat. That's really nice of you. Now I can finally retire. At 70. Thanks. Thanks. He hates us. Look, Jet, here's the thing. I think we can all agree one thing. And it's that this, what I do right now, is better than me taking stops in the middle of my stream to read out subscribers. And doing it at the end would kill me. Okay, reading the notifications at the end every stream, I get hundreds. That's a lot. Okay, I get a lot of people subscribing to me, and that's really fucking nice, but that's a lot. That is a lot, lot. Like, I can read bits, and I can read, re like, fucking gifted subs and donations. Like, if I do every single sub that comes in, I'm gonna die. Notice me, streamer, please. No. No. I didn't even read, I read the message, I didn't read the name. Just a line of text going by. <gasps> How could he? Not my streamer. My streamer. Hey, the Death Rage. With 10 gifted subs. Thanks, Death Rage, for that. That's really kind of you. Wow, that gets... What sound effect is this one? That's the bad one. Uh... Sorry. Murder house. That's the murder house up. Dude, we actually had like a murder house in my town. My old town. Like a really fucking spooky goddamn house. Okay. And like, we had no idea who lived there. It was a, it was a genuine chat. Like it was... We couldn't prove anyone got murdered, but if you thought murder house, you would think this place. And someone did live there. It was like monster house tier shit. Okay, this house was spooky and horrible and creepy, and we knew someone lived there. And then one day, it was immaculate. Like, we went, we left one day, like, boarded up windows, shithole, lawn, fucking complete disrepair. And, like, we came back a week later, and it was beautiful. Like... It was like a wizard came by and fucking fixed it. It sounds like all of the Northeast Texas. I've never seen Northeast Texas. I don't plan to. The ritual was completed. Dude, houses fucking... Houses are stupid, dude. Like, I've seen some real dumb houses. And I live in a house. And, man... 
if I could just if we if I could just rough it outside forever, and mosquitoes and bugs le left me alone, and I didn't care about the rain. Okay. And I didn't have to worry about all the bullshit that hung out in my house and caused problems in my house. And I constantly had electrical power somehow, like a really long, really long cord. I might go with that. I might, I might skip living in a house. I might just live out in the wild with like a really long extension cord, you know? Carry everything around in a big wagon. If the outside was like the inside, I could rough it forever. It's true. I mean, what's wrong with saying that? Chat, look, here's what I think. You want to know what I think? Big glass dome around the planet. All right. Big glass dome around the planet. Get rid of the weather. We're covering it up. We're covering it all up with a big glass dome. We're going to smother it all out like a big snow globe. But the big globe goes all the way around the whole planet. Okay. All right. But I like the outside. Well, then you can wait out there on top of the dome. All right, but you're not going to be coming in. Simpsons did it. I'm talking about a larger scale. So fuck you, asshole. Imagine not being one of the dome people. Imagine not deciding to join us in the dome. Also, Stephen King did it first. Uh, yeah, like, whatever, man. Whatever. Dude, I never, I've never read a Stephen King book. I think it's because I hate reading. I like reading, like, I, I could read. If you put a novel in front of me on a PC, I'd read it forever. Like, it wouldn't be a problem, but, like, I don't like reading books. Does that make sense? Like, if I have a book in my hand... There is no, I cannot find a comfortable position to read a book in my life. Like, I genuinely can't find a comfortable position to read a book. Like, I can't. I need something mounted on a wall, or I can't even, or I can't do it. You know? Tomato can't read gaming. Oh yeah? Then what was that? What, what, what was that I just did right there? Random chance? Have I just been babbling forever? And it's only minor coincidence that what I say comes out as human speech that you understand in a comprehensive sentence? Like the haircut looks fresh. I have it checked. I don't walk into my the person that cuts my hair and say, give me give me a specific cut. I say, shorten the, sh get rid of it. And they wing it every time. Like they ask the same thing as last time. I'm like, what did you do last time? Get rid of it. And I say it like an urgent, like I'm about to be shot if I don't get this haircut. Okay, I don't, I don't do that much. There's not that much nuance to my tricks. Okay. I just want it gone. Barber dispatch my hair now. Get rid of it now. Okay? Now. Beard's still there, huh? What? Dude, what are you, are you, are you, are you, are you, an, are you idiot? Stupid? Krungo. Yeah. What are you talking about, beard? <laughs> Chat, this is my stubble that I get if I don't shave for a day. My stubble comes in fast and then it slows down. Like a... My, I, I have like, my, my beard growth goes in two phases, full flooring it, and then all of a sudden full break. And then like in a couple days, full floor a little bit more, full break. Okay. Try growing a beard. No, I, Chad, it's not that I dislike what I look like with a goatee. Cause I can't grow a beard. I can't grow the cheeks. I can get a goatee. You can't. You guys can see the exact shape of what it would look like already. But my issue is that I don't like my face being itchy. I don't know how these fucking people do it, but I don't like my face being fucking itchy. And beards are itchy. 
okay? And they get itchy for me the second my hair is like two millimeters long. I'm getting itchy. Okay? You don't, it's just always itchy. Exactly, like, I don't want, dude, I don't want to itch, okay? I don't want it. I, I, I don't know how the fuck these people do beards. The only way, okay, the only way I'd bother growing out a beard is if I went wholesale bald, it all went away, okay? If everything up top went away, I would, I would immediately go all in on the beard because I need something there. I, I, like that, that, what, I will not do full, like, fucking Q-tip, okay? I won't do it. If I go bald up top, then the beard will happen. But until then, it's not happening. I won't. If you use conditioner on your beard, it softens and makes it not itch. Chat, but like, I don't, here's the thing. Whenever I put like stuff near my face and my mouth, like conditioner and shit, I always end up tasting it. And then I'm like, eh. and then I like, and then I'm in my brain, my like fucking stupid child brain is like, I don't want to be near that anymore. And then I fucking don't use conditioner and shampoo on my beard. So I don't bother. All right. It's not going to happen. Cause I would like. I would end up eating the shampoo like a fucking two-year-old because like I get something near my mouth. I got to eat it. Okay. Okay. Eating soap like Dave Krongo. Yeah. I saw Sark in the chat for a second. Hey, Sark. What's good? What's good? Verb is just a self insert. Not chat. Like here's the thing. I am a person. I think two second rule is a bunch of bullshit. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I'm a bit of a germaphobe when it comes to that crap. Like if, so, if food, I've seen what my animals do to my floors. They throw up everywhere. Okay. They do this shit all the fucking time. My cats have reached that age where most food is leaving their body instead of it's leaving the wrong way. 90% of the time. Cause my cats are just like at that point in their life. Okay something touches that floor, I might as well watch it immediately, like, calcify into this disgusting, like, piece of coal. It's not going in my goddamn mouth. You might n need to change their food. Dude, I've had my cats for long enough, and we've sent them to the vet for long enough that I already know what their deal is. And at a certain point, my cats just do it for attention, it feels like, okay? Because they'll walk right up to you, hold eye contact, make sure you're looking at them, and then... And fucking do it right at your feet. Okay? Like, I'm not saying it's guaranteed for attention. But I am saying that it feels like a targeted move. Like, it's a certain... There's a certain kind of play happening there. Okay? Just like my cat deliberately choosing to not use the litter box outside of my door and instead right in front of me while I'm watching it walk next to my litter box at my fucking door outside my room and take a big dump right at my feet and just watch me the whole time. All right. Oh my God, Sark. Sark, I'm going to fucking hurl. Sark, you can't do this. You can't come in here and do this stuff. I can't, I'm not gonna read that out loud, I can't. I can't, 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 I can't. No, here's like the problem, is that I got a dog with long hair, pretty long hair and they shed a lot. And if you wanna know the real thing, it is that if something touches my ground, like the ground in my fucking house, I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna pick up a hairball, okay, where, where food or something used to be. And I'm not, I'm not about consciously eating my dog's fur, okay? <laughs> like, I will get cat fur and everything I eat. Like, I will fucking, I will, I will do almost anything that I'll, like, see a piece of, like, a cat hair or something. It's just, it's just going to happen. When you have animals, you have to accept a part of your diet is going to be, ca like, hair fibers from the animals, okay? Vacuum your house. No amount of vacuuming can contain the amount of hair my dog ejects from its body, okay? And I brush my dog, we brush them, we brush all my animals, nothing 
will slow down. It's like a fucking, it's like a goddamn bag of holding, chat. There will always be more coming out of it, okay? You'll always find something more in the bag. There's always more hair in there to come out. They'll find a way, okay? Like a clown car for hair. They'll make more. Ever go to a dog groomer? We did when I had a golden doodle because their hair was curly. So they like had to be groomed. But like my dog has really straight hair now. They don't need to go to a groomer. We, we can handle it just fine. Uh, but yeah, my, my golden doodle had to be taken to a groomer because their hair was so wacky that they like must be, they must be taken care of properly or they're gonna be miserable. Get knots in their fur and then they'll be like miserable. I'm torn if I wanna get animals when I move. Look, here's the thing. If you're not sure, all right. Get a cat first, if you if you don't have like a direct preference. Cause for all the bullshit my cat does, all right, they're fairly low maintenance the rest of the time. A dog, you have to do a lot to get, to make sure a dog is good and keep them happy and not feel guilty. But like a cat, they don't fucking care about you. You put them in there, they're gonna go and do whatever. You don't, they, most of the time they're just gonna do their own thing. You don't need to care as much. With a dog, you have to care, and you're a bad- you're a bad owner if you don't give a fuck about them, and like, be around them, you know? What, cats? My cats actively avoid me sometimes. I'll walk into the room with them, and I'll be like, what's going on, cat? And they'll fucking look at me, and turn around, and walk the other way. Cause they like- like, not like scared, they just don't want to deal with me. Uh, yeah, whatever. Like, I guess, like, they'll come, they'll come by in their own time when they, like, know I'm most inconvenienced and start meowing at the ground because they got an itch on their back they want scratched. And then I'm the, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one that can scratch it for them. Okay? That's simple. What kind of a being is off-stream tomato? I don't know. One of my cats will loiter in the kitchen even when there's no food being cooked because they just like, they just follow the, like I'll cook at night and like I'll do stuff in the kitchen at night. So they'll just follow the nearest light source because I think they're going a little blind because they're old as shit. So they'll just slowly wobble into the kitchen and just sit down in the kitchen in the middle of the kitchen while I'm doing things. And like if I, if I open certain cabinets, they'll just crawl into the cabinet and sit in it. I'm like, dude, I can't, you're like sitting on fucking, like, like cooking implements. Like I, I'll like have to pull them out of the pan room, like the pan cabinet and they'll still be on the pan and I'll be handling this cat on a pan trying to get it off and it'll glue itself to that goddamn pan. And then I have to wash the pan cause I know where that cat's ass has been. I need to wash the pan now again with like green, I like fucking high tier soap because that pan has to be scorched, all right? Dude, I had a, uh, I had actually a targeted assassination earlier, like yesterday. I woke up, my door was cracked. It's not supposed to be. My door is always closed because one, I'm a responsible person. I have mouse traps in here. I do not need my cats fucking stepping on one of these mouse traps and getting fucked up. So I keep this shit locked down. But somehow it was opened, which was a big fuck up by me. Good news is cats didn't go anywhere near the mouse traps because they're in weird spots, really narrow spots. It'd be hard for them to get to them. Where my cat was, was staring me down on my bed, point blank, face to face, when I woke up, when I opened my eyes. And the second I opened them, my cat sneezes as hard as they can into my face. And I just start screaming. I start screaming as if I got stabbed. I, I start, Aah! I fucking run. I stumble out the door. I run into my fucking door frame and I like run. I, I, I scamper around the corner. I'm screaming. I'm still screaming. And my cat just lays down where I was sleeping in my bed as I'm washing and rinsing my face with like shampoo, trying to make sure my eyes aren't blo like both of my eyes chat. I felt fucking cat spittle impact on both of my glassesless eyes. My glasses weren't on. Of course, because I was just sleeping, my cat fucking sneezed in my face, in my eyes. And I, 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 I evaded, I evaded the horrible, guys, I actually, no joke, 
hydrogen peroxided my eyes. Like I fucking, I I did the I would I preferred risking that than fucking letting the cat spit get in my eyes. Like I've had it before and it blinded me so fucking bad. So I like got some cotton ball. I I put a bunch of hydrogen peroxide with a cotton ball. I fucking rubbed like the edge of my fucking eyelids. And then I had to like rinse my eyes under hot water for like 20 minutes. It's that bad. You got blinded by that? Dude, have you never had cat, like a cat get spit in your eye from like shaking their head? Chat? Because if it happens to you once, you'll, you'd be shutting the fuck up right now, okay? You'd be shutting the fuck up right now. That's like a two day event. Your eye will fucking swell up. Okay? Like instantly. Like your eye will seal up fucking instantly. Cat's mouths are so disgusting. Okay? Like the second a cat bites you a little bit, like just a little nip on your fucking skin, your skin fucking swells up immediately. Cats are disgusting. All right, their mouths are disgusting. What the fuck is wrong with your guys' cats? Dude, do you not fucking, like the people that are saying this obviously fucking like don't get it. Like that's the thing, like that, that's not normal. Oh, it definitely is, chat. Are you guys dumb? <laughs> it definitely is. You know how fucking gross cat mouths are? There's a ton of bacteria. The people that are saying this don't have cats and are idiots. Like that's, that's the only fucking, and you're outing yourself and you're lying because you think we can't catch you. But I definitely know that you're lying, okay? Like cats are fucking, I love my cats, but they are, they are disgusting animals. They are, they are disgusting, okay? <laughs> they are disgusting. Vets use antibiotics instantly when they get bitten by a cat. Yeah, no, the second a cat makes any impact with my skin, run full sprint to the fucking sink, hydrogen peroxide drowning that fucking hole, okay? It's everything. Their mouths are worse, th worse than their claws, 100%. Dogs are more disgusting? No. <laughs> no. No, I don't want to say that I have a high, I have a record of getting animals sneezing in my face, but I did have my dog sneeze in my face too. Same reaction that I did when my cat did it. I panicked and ran over and the dog one was nothing. Okay, the dog one was like a little minor irritation, but the cat, dude, that was a two day fucking, that was, that was full on one eye blindness, swelled up like fucking, I looked like I got punched in the face. Like fucking, I looked like I got really messed up. Ugh. Ugh. But yeah, I got I got out scot free and I didn't get blinded by my cat. It's probably like it's probably like justice. That cat's always had a fucking problem with me ever since when I was like in school, my cat would like sometimes sleep in my goddamn bed underneath my sheets without like me being aware of it. And one day when I got back from school, I just grabbed my extremely heavy textbook backpack and dropped it on my bed, not knowing there was a cat under there. And man, I've never seen a cat move faster and I felt so fucking bad. But how was the, how the fuck was I supposed to know? You know, he was fine. He was a okay because those cats are so fucking fast. But uh, yeah, it was you monster chat like, the only reason an animal gets in my room is because one of my parents opens the door and like walks into my room, okay? And when you're younger, you know for a fact how much your parents are going into your goddamn room, even though they really shouldn't be, all right? So my parents go into my room as they fucking like to do when I'm not there, okay? And my cat walks in and fucking finds himself a nice spot. How the hell am I supposed to know my cat's in my goddamn bed? But that was like 13 years ago. It is their damn house, you know. Chat, I'm a firm believer that children deserve privacy in their rooms. Uh, actually, genuinely. <laughs> and, uh... 
Yeah, no, I, 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 I am genuinely a person that firmly believes that parents shouldn't be just walking into their par their children's rooms like willy nilly just because. Uh, I think that's, I think that sets a very bad precedent, and uh, I think being able to trust your family to not go into your room is super important, and like. Especially now, if I wa if I got home and someone was in my room, I would be actually fucking floored. I would be like, a I would be full on stunned. I'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing in my room? Like, this is, <laughs> like, this is my room. Like, I don't go into other people's rooms. That's like their zone. You know. Like, let people have their privacy. You know, especially kids. Let them, let them." Figure out their own shit and not feel like there's constantly a fucking eyes peering over their shoulders everything they do, okay? Let kids fuck up and make their own mistakes and, like, live their life, you know? As so long as it doesn't negatively fuck them up, you know? I don't know. My parents were pretty hands-off, which was good. That rarely happened, but, uh, you know. I'll probably replicate a very similar thing if I ever have kids, you know? Ugh. Can you imagine your parents just walking in without knocking when you're a kid? Like, I know kids had, my friends had parents who did. Insane. Insane. Parents that, like, take the locks off the doors of their kids, like, kids' rooms. Insane. Fucking psycho shit. Like, those are the kinds of parents that when I, if I grew up, I would move as far away from them as fast as possible. I would get as far from them as I fucking physically could. Instantly. Get the fuck out the second I'm an adult. Leave. Uh-uh. No more of that. I had no door? What the fuck? Dude. The only time that shit is acceptable to me is when the kid is like, Fucking, like, if you're past five, okay, you gotta start getting some privacy. Okay, once you're, like, going into grade school, they gotta start respecting your privacy as a kid. Alright, you're gonna, like, grow up fucking weird. Ugh. <laughs> I had no door and no window that goes to the corridor, and we had to use a fucking towel as a door. Yikes. A towel as a door? I'm sorry that happened to you. Are your parents religious? No. I mean, technically, like, at one point, I think one of them was Christian, but my parents... Look, my parents were very hands-off with all of us. Like, they... They, you know, they loved me very much, but they let me sort of do my own thing. Though they did buy me my own clothes, but that's just because... That's just because if I had it my way, I would wear the same thing every single day until it was, uh... I would just keep washing and wearing the same thing every single day. Because I, I, I like wearing... I, I, I'm not... I don't give a fuck. Okay? So, yeah. They, they took that matter into their hands because I also didn't know how to match my clothes. So my mom would do that for me. She would, she would match... She would make sure my clothes matched because if I had it my way, I would be clash every single day. Okay. <laughs> I, did, I did not understand what matching was until I, until I got much older. I, I didn't figure out matching until I was like 17. Okay, now I had my parents stopped picking out my clothes for me when I was like 12 So for like fucking eight years or like seven years in there I was I was pretty I was a wild card. Okay, I fucking people uh, people didn't People never knew what they were gonna get with me. Okay You don't have to match if all you wear is black true true I figured out very early that anything matches with gray. Okay gray and blacks, easy. Can't lose, you can't lose. So I've been doing that, I've been doing that all the time. All the time. 
favorite game already. Well, chat, look, today's sort of special because I'm not sure how long I'm going to go because uh, I um, quite genuinely am not planning on doing a super long stream because I have a D&D &D event later tonight and I've been doing a lot of stuff this week. So this is sort of a this is sort of a wild card stream today. OK, so I may not I genuinely may not end up playing the game. It depends on if I like get sick of you or not. Cause like I, I, I'm not, I, I'm fucking, I'm out of it. And sometimes the one thing that keeps me like conscious and focused is just talking to chat and like doing the intro. The intro is genuinely when I am the most dialed in. Arnar Bjorns with the five gifted subs. Thank you very much, Arnar Bjorns. And Enko Nito, thank you for the hundred bits as well. I'm respecting your privacy by knocking, but asserting, asserting my authority by coming in anyway. Yeah, well, sometimes my fam sometimes my parents would do that, but they stopped doing that once I once I full on was like, you can't do this. <laughs> well, what happened was I started locking the door uh, when they did that like once or twice, and then I kicked it up a notch. I started locking my door, and uh, you know, then when they knocked, I said, "Who is it?" And they'd say, it's your parents. We live in the same house. It's always going to be one of your parents. And I said, okay, I'm opening the door now. And then we established, like, you know, a cycle. They never, like, took my lock away. It's not like I was... Look, the only reason a kid should have their lock taken away, okay, in their door, is if they genuinely use it as a method to bar barricade themselves in their room like a maniac, Okay. It goes both ways. Boundaries are important, but at the same time, if you like locked the door and then when your parents are like, hey, I need to talk to you. And you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not coming outside. I've, lo I've locked the door. I barricaded myself in here. Okay, at that point, that's a different story. But like, it goes both ways. Kids don't need locks on their doors. I disagree. I disagree. I wholesale disagree. I think, I think having a lock on your door is a good way, especially as a kid, to uh, get used to having privacy, having a place that no one can come into without your say-so. Even if that's not necessarily true, because your parents can absolutely get that door out of the way if they need to, I think it's a good thing to start setting a precedent for. Genuinely. Chips221 with... 10,000 bits. Oh my God, Chips, please. You're spoiling me. Free entertainment. One absolute buffoon you are, Tomato Gaming. What a fool. A dimwit to the highest degree. <laughs> you fell for it. But you paid me, Chips. But you paid me. It's no longer free entertainment, is it? Because you paid for me. You are a fool. You've been defeated by me. <laughs> You've been defeated. My kids live in a giant glass... Hang on, Sark's message. Uh, deleted by chat, scrolling. My kids live in a giant glass David Blaine breath-holding clip. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I just... I just... I, I, I just... I just... the My parents did a pretty good job with me, you know? And I, I want to make sure I, I set the bar at, at least that level. If I had to give my parents a parenting review, like if I walked up to them now and gave them the ultimate curveball they never thought was coming, and I gave them a performance review, okay? After all this, I go up to them now at 24 and I give them a final performance review before like I move out. Dude, I wonder what they think. Like a genuinely critical performance review for what they could do better next time. Pretty good stuff all, all around. Um, one time I got grounded for a month and got my PS2 privileges taken away, which was honestly a little bullshit. The reason I got grounded was um, because I was upset about being dragged to something I shouldn't have been dragged to anyway because I was a child. Like, one thing I do think my parents could have done better, and the one thing that would dock them some points, is that and I think a lot of parents could learn from this, is especially when you have an older sibling that's already responsible enough to like babysit on their own, dragging a bunch of your kids to some boring fucking bullshit just because 
is not a fun activity for them. It's not. You don't have to take me to every art fair. I, I've, ha I've seen enough of them. I, I've seen one, all right? I'm not a shopping kid. I hated it. And neither was my older sibling. And I definitely could have, and neither was like my dad who would stay behind because he was an adult and would say, I'm not fucking going to that. Are you kidding me? I'm not fucking going to that. We're going to the art fair. Huh? He would say from his chair. I ha I'm not going to that. Are you crazy? I'm going to do anything else because I'm an adult. Okay, but you know what he wouldn't do? You know what he didn't get the guts to start doing until he, until I was like 12? Was be was finally step in and be like, and neither will my son and pull him back from my fucking mom that wanted to take me to the fucking craft fair. Okay, he didn't start doing that until I was like, until I had the fucking cognitive ability to be like, dad, you gotta get me the fuck out of here, man. She's trying to take me to the mall again. Dad, please, dad, God. <laughs> it took a while. It took a while for that, like, father-son camaraderie to kick in for my dad to get me out of there. <laughs> you know? It was miserable. Like, I would get so fucking toxic when, when we went shopping and stuff. I was... I was a miserable kid. Because, like, I... Even though I had like a DS, I had like a Game Boy Advance, I had my options, okay? I had them. I had options. The problem was, I was n I did not like walking around with a console, like a handheld console in my hands. I didn't like it. I didn't like sitting down somewhere and just playing a game on a bench. I hated that stuff. Like, I had to be home. You know? So, I was, I was miserable out there. And... My f my mother was a bit of a browser. She would browse. Never really had a goal in mind. Had a baseline idea of what they wanted to do at a shop. Didn't really get there. <laughs> Never really got there. Never really got there. So it'd be a lot of like, when are we leaving? Soon in a minute. I'm just checking this one last thing. One more second. I promise. Mom. Mom, please, mom. There's a clearance sale. We have to check it. Mom, please, God. And then we'd leave with nothing. Because none of it was good enough. That's why I buy everything online. All right? I will, I would rather die than go shopping. Like we, I've gone, I've gone on trips where like some of the gang has been like, oh, let's go into the shop and like check it out. And I'll be like, I'm going to walk in a circle around this block for 10 minutes instead. So I'll see you guys later. And they'll look at me like I'm a psycho. And I'll be like, yeah, I'm gonna walk this, I'm gonna walk this block. I'm gonna do some laps. I'm not fucking doing that. Mm -mm. I, I like bed would like walk into a store and like, look at shirts and stuff like while we had time to kill and I'd be like you guys uh I'll be over at that bench staring at a wall on my phone I'm not going into a store I don't do those anymore I'm above that I'm past it it's no no offense to them it's just I can't 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 I can not with a thousand bits It'll be great fun watching the world of IO stuff. No spoilsies for realsies, but good luck, everyone. Fun day. It's been fun to see your first, I think, D&D show character grow. Yeah. It's been a good time. I'm really glad that Brett invited me to join. It's been great. I'm excited to uh, see what he does next. Ten hours in the zoo. Dude. Zoos fucking suck. Zoos fucking suck. Zoos suck so bad. Zoos are so bad. The only good place in zoos is the indoor enclosures where they show you a bunch of lizards in small enclosures, like little small tanks. Okay? The lizard zone is the only good one. Reptile Realm's the only one worth going to because those bastards are fucking kicking back real comfy-like and they don't like hide. All right, the lizards own up 
and they just sit there and they go, what's up, what's good? And they show, they, they just sit there. The aquarium's good too. But like, man, uh, like, the, you could tell how miserable these big animals are. Like, these smaller animals, okay, they're not as... Like, a, a lizard doesn't need as much real estate to, like, you know, do its stuff, and even then I feel bad for them. Okay. He hates the monkeys. Well, that's because they're smiling with their teeth, and I know better. I, they smile at you, and they smile with their teeth, and you know there's something wrong. Okay. The, you know there's something wrong. Poor penguins are always depressed as fucking zoos. I have an aquarium, like a big, like aquatic place near me. And uh, penguins always seem pretty bummed out. We had sea lions too. They'd always seem pretty zen. But you know that's just because they're like lazy, because there's nothing to do. I fucking hate zoos. I hate zoos. They all suck. They can go to hell. The only good zoo animals... Are the, the only ones worth seeing are those lizards. That's it. That's it. Lizards are the ones to hang out with. I'd hang in there every day of the week. If I had to choose a place to be in the zoo, it'd be the lizard zone. All right. I mean, in a lot of ways, Twitch is sort of like a digital zoo for humans, you know? You guys have come to my enclosure and you're like throwing fucking money at the glass, but like I can't get to it. So like a little fucking like... Oh, like Bezos comes by with a vacuum later and sucks up all the money and like gives me like a little cut Throw some money th throw some cash through like the fucking cash slot in the glass for me. I lap it up Bug zones are fun all the small zones are really good All right, the smaller the better because they're easy to see only problem with them is that you have to like Push around a bunch of people loitering in front of them because they like it tap 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 do something. Streamer. Hey, streamer. Streamer, hey. Do something. Move. Do a funny thing. Dude, honestly, the most badass thing I've ever seen in a zoo was watching that fucking, watching a bunch of people, like, piss off, like, just, a uh, like, hassle a gorilla. And then the gorilla just charges the glass and cracks it in one move. Dude, I started fucking clapping. I was like, fuck yeah, show him what's up. Show him what's actually going on here. Dude. Good shit. The gorilla was smiling with teeth. He was smiling with his teeth, chat. Didn't you see? Dude, tomato, play the game, dude, dude. Tomato, please, dude, you gotta play the game, dude. Chat, at this point, if I... Chat, look. All right, I'm going for a world record. Okay. I'm going for a world record on my uh, intro right now. I'm going, for the, I'm going for the new world record. Hey, Spooner Dave with the $10. It's always a pleasure watching your videos and streams. Very few people have had me laugh till I cried. Thank you for that. Hey, thanks. Tomato, just chatting, just chatting. Look, chat, okay? I told you this would be a weird stream today. I'm not sure exactly. Dude, full disclosure, okay? I just don't, I don't know if I want to fucking, I don't know if I want to just like, I don't know if I want to play this for like five more hours, you know? I'm having fun. Just hanging out in intro right now. I've been having fun just hanging out. I haven't been in a real gaming mood for a little bit, honestly. Like, it, like, in all honesty, I've been a little bit, like, uh, been a little zonked out, you know what I mean? I've been having fun just hanging out and talking more than I have playing games lately. But the games I have played have been games where I have nothing to do but just keep talking, like fucking Power Wash Simulator, you know? I think I've been just in a little bit of a funk. I'm not, like, I'm not, like, burned out, but I've been, like, a little bit of a funk. Because, like, everything I have been doing is much longer form. I've been setting up for the next Enderall stream. That'll be really soon. That might even be a uh, Sunday, I think, would be Enderall. I do have a cool game stream tomorrow, though. Uh, the next game by the person who made that witch hunting game, that, like, monster hunting game, that really good one, uh, is coming out tomorrow. 
on early access. So that I am playing. That's gonna be fun. I'm really excited for that. Apparently it's got like two maps. Witch Hunt? Yeah, it's a sequel to Witch Hunt. So uh, I, I'm very excited to play that. Because I, I really like the one that Dev made. I like the first one a lot. A good monster hunting game. And when we're done with that, we'll probably switch right into uh, the second Skinwalker Hunter map or whatever it's called. There's like another map for that too that was put out a little while ago. So we'll probably just do both in like a big hunting stream. So yeah, that's like, that's the plan tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a long stream. Okay. For sure, for sure, for sure. Finally, a good monster hunting stream. I love the hunting streams. The hunting genre, the monster hunting genre might be one of my favorite genres in the market. Like of like weird indie games. Hunting stuff is good shit. Really like it. Will you try Risk of Rain 2 VR? I don't want to throw up on stream. Honestly, I didn't even know that existed. What is that? Risk of Rain 2 VR, that's what you're like, that's what that means, right? I don't, I don't want to throw up on stream. To be honest. But I don't know. Like Sam sent me a thing that was like GTFO VR. And I was like, that seems good. But last I checked, those devs, like, hate modding. And I don't really want to... I already feel like I might be on their shit list. I don't really want to be on their shit list anymore. You know? I think he means... Red Dead Redemption 2 VR. Can we get rid of the acronyms? Can we fucking, can we get rid of them? Get rid of all acronyms. I don't know what's happening right now. Everyone's like, I think he means like D, D P D P N O Q F R V R. Stop. Stop. Let me. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. I just, dude, I want to know what that person was talking about now. Is there actually like Risk of Rain 2 VR? Because that's got to suck. <laughs> like, that, that would be a terrible VR experience. I, 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 I have no doubt it's sick. Is it actually good or is it sick as in you feel sick? Chat. Cause like, that's the thing. Cause it takes a lot to get me sick in VR, honestly. I'm, I've got a gut, I've got a fucking iron gut. It's good IMO. Why'd you break your AC? So I could have ex an excuse to do like an extreme shit post stream, you know? Like now, now with my AC broken, I get to stay cool and comfortable in here. And I get to make possibly the greatest shit post stream I've done in a long time. Hang on, let me see if I just find this on my, uh, on the thing. Give me a sec, chat. Risk of rain to VR. Okay. Oh, it's like a streamer. Okay, I like watching streamers. It's a streamer with like a green screen. Hang on. Hang on, everyone shut the fuck up. Hang on, we're, we're getting in. We're getting in, we're going in. Hang on, he's just like me. He's just like me, we got a streamer. All right, let's, let's take a look at this. Let's see. Let's see what the, what the, what the hubbub's about. He's react streaming. Now I just wanna see what he's taught, what this is, what this is about. Okay. It's, it's very quiet. Well, the audio doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't actually want to hang out with this guy. Hang on. Let's just go forward a little bit here. Oh, it looks as shitty in VR as I thought it would.
that's what add one of two. Chat, I gotta wait a little while to get back into the game on this one. Let's just give it a minute. I'm actually getting a lot of VR ads right now. Okay, now YouTube is trying to get me into YouTube Premium at the bottom. Uh, let's just, I'm just, I just want to... Guys, the problem is Risk of Rain isn't... Like, it's such a low-poly game. This has got to look like death in VR. This guy, this has to look like death. I, I, this would make me go crazy. It's a fast paced mobility game where you're moving very quick. Risk of Rain in VR has to be terrible. Look at this. He looks like he's, I'm getting a lot of ads. It looks so bad! You can't see like any animations, you're just pinging with little laser beams! What is he supposed to- who is he right now? Who is he playing? What's his like class? He's like the new guy. He's like the- he's like the fucking bandit guy. Or the mer- he's not- no, he's the- he's the, he's the guy- he's the other guy. He's the guy with the hat. No, wait, no he's not. No, that's a different guy. I don't care, I don't know. He's the commando. I haven't played the game in a while. This looks like, uh... Oh, he's the default guy with his pistols. Well, I'm guessing he's not playing a character with actual, like, high-tier animations because it would kill him. Like, imagine playing the fucking mercenary, chat. Or, like, the huntress. Something like that in VR. Think about that. Think about it. Playing acrid. Dude, I hate VR. I think VR sucks. <laughs> and I own a and I own an index. And I'm considering playing the SCP see like fucking the SCP thing. Okay? And I hate it. Dude. I'm just waiting for the first, like, VR immersive sim, dude. And it'll never happen. It's never gonna come out. But... If someone can make a good VR immersive sim... Oh... Oh... Please... Please... Please, sir. Please. Graven with VR support. Don't, dude. I played a little bit of Graven because I, uh, I actually like that genre a lot. I played a little bit of Graven. I did not like it. I hated it. I played like two hours of it. I thought it was dog shit. Those devs need to work on their game. I don't know what direction they're trying to take it. Beep. It. The map sucked. The maps were awful. How can you look? There's no excuse at this point to not make maps as good as Dusk if you're gonna get into that genre, especially with it being like fucking 3D World or whatever 3D Realm, whatever the fuck their name is, their brand. They've been making games like that forever. No excuse to have trashy maps. Maps are so important in those games, and the map in Graven is fucking awful. There wasn't a single map that I thought was good. They published it, not developed. Then whoever fucking developed it should have looked at Dusk and said, if we can't make at least Dusk or medieval levels of map design, we shouldn't bother. Like, that is the bar. If you can't make that, don't make one. I would say maps are, like, the second most important thing in a game like that after the gunplay. Like, obviously. Graven's slow, the guns suck, all the ranged weapons feel bad. The spells don't do- the spells aren't weapons, they're like pointless puzzle things. So like the magic is lame. Cause they made the fucking spells like nothing. They're a pointless entity in the game. There's a black- there's money 
for a blacksmith that the blacksmith smells you sells you items smells you items that you immediately find in the map about 30 seconds later so why does he exist bad game they gotta work on it good news is it's an early access so they have time but boy oh boy not a good start I rarely play early access games where I say so quickly this is not good One of the, the reviews said the company had like three to four unfinished early access games on Steam. Well, I can check. Let's see. Let's see for myself. If that's really true. Slipgate Ironworks. Uh, is this actually, hang on, I gotta make sure this is actually the devs we're looking at here. Okay, so they made a game called Rad Rogers. Which looks like nothing and is not early access. Bombshell, not early access. Mixed reviews. Kingpin Reloaded, which is nothing. These devs haven't really made much, honestly, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know what they're talking about. Um... But yeah, this game needs a lot of work. The the game needs a lot of work. That uh, it's gonna need some work. They made Ghost Runner. No, they didn't. Like five developers made Ghost Runner, so they did not make that game by themselves. Uh, that was made by One More Level, 3D Realms, and Slipgate. So uh, they probably contributed, but they did not make that game. I'm guessing. Crunching Sim when. Just wait for EDF VR. That would make me... Okay, EDF VR would... I would risk hurling to play EDF in VR. It will never exist, but if it could, I would risk it to play that. Would you ever play Fallout New Vegas VR? I'll probably never play Fallout New Vegas again. I can't take it anymore. Bethesda. Bethesda's engines, their games are like they can't. I've done I've done enough. At least on stream, I've done enough. I've done like three things of New Vegas. I did a hardcore permadeath thing. I did dust. And I did the mod. Okay. I did my enough New Vegas to last a lifetime on stream. I'm done with New Vegas. I can't go back. I won't. I won't. I'm moving on to bigger, better things, Chad. I, 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 I stream Overwatch now. I'm an Overwatch streamer now. I just play Overwatch. I'm an. Oh, I'm going. I'm getting into Overwatch now. I'm a hog main. I'm the I'm the fastest hog hog in the west. Okay? I when I get in games, I give my entire team 500 points of cringe damage immediately because I have a goddamn bot on my fucking mouse that automatically selects Roadhog in less than 2 milliseconds the game server will crash because of how quickly the input is placed on the server it cannot keep up. I crash the game. I, I, I'm the fastest in the West when it comes to insta-locking and then immediately turning off all communication methods with my team so no one can know. No one can communicate with the hog. I will then hook into a shield 18,000 times and then continue to die on repeat because a reaper teleports behind me. I'll hook a thousand shields, and then my next only successful hook for the entire game will be a Reaper, who I will pull into me so that he can politely execute me at point-blank range. Got there. We got there.
Ah, gamer. Ah, yes. A gamer. What is this guy, gaming? Nah, guys. All right. I can tell you this right away. If any of my friends that have played Overwatch with me can agree on one thing, I'm a, I'm an all right hug. All right. I'm a pretty good hug. I know how to hug. Okay, I hug. I can hug. He's not a hard character to play, but I can definitely hog well. All you have to do is hit the hook. All you have to do is hit the hook and then hit their face with the gun. It's like not hard. It's an easy character. And as long as you're not an idiot and try to hook Zarya fuckers, okay? Play Overwatch with Arcadum? I'd love to. Never on stream though. I, chat, I can't. Here's the thing, we've agreed, we've made a solemn swear between the gang to never stream Overwatch. Like, never let anyone stream it. I don't want people to see, it'll impact, it'll actually negatively impact my brand if people see me like that. You know what I mean? It's like streaming an MMO. Like, what kind of psychomaniac? Okay. What kind of absolute insane maniac would stream an MMO? Especially right now. Right now. Uh, what kind of maniac, insane, insane psycho would stream on a Thursday and play an MMO? You know what I mean? You know? I'm taking fucking many swings at like every one of my friends, like with a, with a, I'm, I'm taking a lot of swings and like, or I feel like, I feel like I can do that because they take so many, they'll take swings at me all the goddamn time chat. Like I can't, all right. I, I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to take swings. I'm telling, I'm gonna tell on you, stop it. Yeah, like whatever. Like, whatever. Say goodbye to your door, old man. Your career is over, we're taking your doorway. That's right, we might, we're not, we'll put a towel up. Are you streamer? Dude, you guys wanna know, like, I was just, that makes me, you know what that reminds me of? For some reason, it's not really adjacent. Whenever you go to TwitchCon, the zoo analogy I said is like, they're in full display. They put the streamers in little streamer boxes so that every, all the viewers can put their face to the glass and like look in at the streamers streaming in these like little streamer boxes. They can look in and see their streamer in the zoo, in the little enclosure. It's fucking wild. <laughs> I like it was the same way when I was like with Polaris though and like PAX we had like a fucking we had although that was more of a safe zone is that there was like a there was like a the Polaris booth at PAX had like a fenced in area for streamers like a little little safe zone but like the longer you stayed there the more you realize it was like a fucking it was like a little pen it was a pen to keep us in not to keep them out all right it was to keep in the us Like, it, it, and I actually got like jump scared once because I was sitting near the edge of it where like if some psycho wanted, they could reach in and like grab me and pull me back. And one of my friends did, they went to like the other side of it while I was like leaning up against the edge and they grabbed my hoodie, like the hood of my hoodie, like pulled me back into it. And I thought I was gonna get murdered. I was like fucking, I was like, <laughs> started like panicking. <laughs> Cause like an arm grabbed me. Why AC is so loud? Ah, shit, post stream. I'm, fi I'm finally doing it, I'm ending my career. This is the one. This is the one. Chat, I'm gonna be honest. If you've been sitting here waiting for fucking two hours for uh, eggnog stream, if you're like the dev of eggnog game and you came in cause you're like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> This guy's about to play eggnog game. 
you, uh, you might be disappointed by what's about to happen. I have to be a responsible streamer now in case I get in trouble with Twitch. It's been two hours. <laughs> I have to change the I have to change the fucking game title now. Because I think eggnog is dead. I think it's over. You can't do this to them. You chat, you wanna know something fucked up? I uh I've been deeply curious since I started doing these face cam intros. Of like the curve. Okay? Like I don't Here's the thing, chat. You wanna know something fucking wild? And actually sort of depressing? I've been able to see, looking at viewership curve, the exact fucking second I switch to the game because people leave. People leave. They leave. People go away when the game starts. We've reached the event horizon. We've cr we've crossed the fucking darkest. Wait, wait, people complain that I don't play the game? But more people are getting the fuck out when it turns on, all right? No, I'm not saying I'm gonna stop playing games, but what I am saying is that, like, you gotta understand that I, I have seen, I've seen the dark side, okay? I'm, I'm on the edge of the shadow realm right now. Okay, maybe it's just been coincidence. But it's gotten pretty bad out there. Turn off the AC, I'm freezing. The AC is set to bring it down to 63 degrees in here. And I'm finally feeling like I can pull my sleeves down again. So I'll turn it off for a minute. And I'll turn it back on again a little bit and you guys are gonna fucking notice like you're gonna you're gonna miss the sound now You're gonna miss like the fucking 63 is crazy low. I already explained it chat. I personally like having the heat the temperature extremely low and do it in blasts and Then turn it off and then let it get back up and then blast it again. That's just how I do it Okay, I don't Like because it's right next to chat because it's the AC is right next to like a PC that's putting out a ton of heat Okay, so like I just blast the temperature and then turn it off when it gets cold. Wonders why AC is broken. Hey, hey chatlet. Did I get you? Did you get owned by the fucking message at the bottom chatlet? Krungo as hell, dude. He got, cr he got owned chat. We got him. We got him, the intro's gone long enough! People are coming in and didn't know! They didn't know it was all a fabrication, it was a lie! Clip it, clip them. Clip their chat message, I want, I want like, I want to laugh about it later, they got owned. They got owned. It's over. Intro Krungo. I need to drink more water. Ugh. Ah. Play game. Every single time someone says that, chat, I'm gonna fucking mess with the, I'm gonna mess with the camera a little bit more. Okay? I'm gonna like do some wiggling. I really shouldn't have done that. I'm actually never gonna get this thing focused again. I can't get it. Play game. No. No, 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 no. I am liking the intro only stream. Chat, look, it, look, okay. Love it or hate it. Love or hate long intros, miss game. I'm not done playing games, obviously, but it's fucking fun as a streamer to do weird shit and like mix it up every once in a while. You know, I've been, I've been playing games for two years straight, <laughs> three years. Okay, at a certain point, I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna start like fucking eating glue on stream or something, okay? I don't think you, I mean, you probably do want that, but I don't. Dude, I walked into my fucking, you guys, hang on, this is actually like a thing. I, do you guys like get scared of the concept that there's gorilla glue or like super glue around you? Like, does that like scare you? Like when you walk into a room and there's just some super glue sitting on a table? I've had, okay, here, let me explain. 
Okay. I have picked up a ball, like a bottle of super glue before and it is ruptured when I picked it up. And then I had super glue, glue, like a jar of super glue glued to my hand on the interior. Okay. That's happened. And ever since then, if I see super glue around me, tongs. Okay. Tongs. I was like fucking 13. And like, I was supposed to use it for a project. Uh, my dad was helping me like build this thing for a science class. It was like a, uh, it was like a fucking magnet thing and we needed glue that was gonna hold well. He was like, get the super glue. And I was like, all right. And I got it and it ruptured. It like, there wasn't anything like, I didn't fuck anything up. No one did. It just, it was a bad bottle and it ruptured the second I tried to squeeze it out. And like the side of it just pierced. And I was like, what is that feeling in my hands? And when I tried to get it out of my hands, my dad was like, drop it, drop it. I was like, I tried drop it. It's like a comic. I just, <laughs> it's like a cartoon. And ever since then, if I see super glue, dude, I don't let it near me. It's like a, it's like a really, it spooks me. How did you get it off? We used some fucking method. I don't know. I mean, my hands are fine, so I got it off, obviously. That or I died. And this is like all a dream. That sounds awful. It sucked. But it wasn't like Gorilla Glue. It was like Walmart brand super glue. So it wasn't like the super stuff. But I mean, chat. Dude. Okay, like, there is always a fucking, like, whenever it's around you, you're dancing with the devil. Like, what is, like, why would you just, like, like, I don't know, it'd be a fucking unbelievable power play if I, if someone, if one of, like, a friend I knew, or anyone I knew, walked into, a, like, a room with me, and they were like, what's good, my guy? And then they fucking reach into their bag, and they put out, they just put, like, dunk, put, like, a big jar of glue, big super gorilla glue. Is put it on the desk. I'm going to start panicking. What are they going to do or have done with that? That may have consequences now. Think about that. Think about that. Like you, they might not have used it here, but now you know they had like Gorilla Glue. You know, they had it at some point. They should not be giving out Gorilla Glue at like stores. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, it's too powerful. It's too powerful. This guy is afraid of glue. Dude. Okay, here's the thing. A lot of ro like robbers and thieves and like muggers have really messed it up and they don't get it. All you have to do to like get away from the police is just throw a bunch of glue in an alleyway, jump right over it. Those police go run right on that glue. Get stuck. Get stuck right there. Just like the classic cartoons. Chat, like it's actually not a fucking joke. Like if I, if I was trying to like stop someone from following me, if I was like, if I was about to like do something horrible, okay. And I was like talking to someone and they were like, I have to stop you. And then I just quickly poured a bunch of glue on their hand or that like their hand was on the table. And I started laughing. Like, it would sound goofy, but I just beat them. Like, I won. Like, what are they, they going to do? Gnaw their arm off? You're fucked. You're fucked. I won. Like, you're, it's over. Rip their skin off? Chat. The thing is, yeah, you can rip your skin off, but, like, you're also going to be like, what if it's not going to be that bad? Like, your brains immediately, unless I was like, unless I glued their hand to the table and then start pulling out a chainsaw, you're not going to, like, immediately be like, all right, well, it's time to rip my fucking skin off to get out of this one. You're going to be like, okay, what's the play here? What, what Was this, like, an accident? What's going on? You know? Like... You're gonna, you're gonna wait a minute, and then by then, the glue will have solidified all the way, and it will be too late. One time I slapped a kid in the face with a handful of glue when I was very young. Like, Elmer's? Because that stuff is basically just, like, that stuff's, like, fucking nothing. It's sticky water. <laughs> 
Ma I, I could use maple syrup. And I have. Maple syrup and honey are better glues than Elmer's. Okay. Sorry. I trust, I trust a bunch of honey with my life to keep me like stuck to something over goddamn Elmer's glue. Okay. Did you win Conan? Yes, I did. The only way to win was to never play. Owned. I can't wait for the game to start. LOL, dude. Omega oh, lol, dude. I'm glad Elmer's stock was non-toxic when I was a kid. Everybody liked the taste of the purple glue sticks. Dude. Glue sticks are a fucking scam. I cannot fucking believe they've gotten away with it as long as they have. That shit genuinely doesn't work. Like I would glue stick, uh, my teachers would walk by me when I was gluing something and they'd be like, you're putting a lot of glue on there, huh kid? And I'd look at them like they just fucking came back from the dead. Like, what? I need, this thing needs to have a visible fucking two millimeter thick layer of glue or it's gonna fall off the second I apply it. I'm talking paper. I'm talking putting paper on paper. It was a scam. And the only and then once you used a little bit of glue stick, you'd be like, well, I need another. I'm not gonna like switch to a different kind of glue. Nah, I'm in too deep. But you know what always works? Chat. Maple syrup. Bada bing. It's gonna be a smelly project, but it's gonna stick. Bada bing. Tape? Yeah, tape was actually I was I was a hardcore tape boy. All right, teachers would be like, where's your glue? And I'd be like, are you crazy? Tape was all I knew. Okay. Duct tape? I mean, duct tape's fucking, here's the problem. Duct tape's a fucking scary one. Someone comes out with duct tape at a, like, just pulls that shit open? I don't know about that. Scotch is less threatening. Duct tape is... Duct tape's like, that's a that's a threatening play. Okay? That's a threat. There's a lot of energy there. Glue guns. Dude. Glue guns changed the game, man. When a teacher would let you use a glue gun... Oh my god. A lot of trust you're putting in these kids. I've seen some real fucking stupid high schoolers even, and I've seen how hot a glue gun can get, and they're fucking, these kids are like pretending to shoot the side of their head with the goddamn glue gun. LOL, LOL. Put the glue gun to my temple, watch, everyone watch. Ha ha he he. And I'm sitting there watching and nodding. Do it. Fucking do it. Do it, idiot. Come on. To fucking make my day. I had so many dumbasses in school chat. And a lot of people would try to stop an idiot from doing something stupid. I I am a dude. I am a I'm a watcher. Okay. <laughs> I watch. I don't I don't interfere. Okay, if some if if someone's doing something extremely stupid and they've passed the age of like fucking 16. You get, you get what's coming to you, okay? I observe. I observe from a far distance. And I nod. Yeah. Yeah. Pretend to juggle a shot put. Yeah. Try juggling shot puts at track. Fucking do it. Try, yeah, juggle the shot put. Throw it really high in the air right above your head, you fucking idiot. You complete moron. Let's see how this plays out for you, dude. Pretend to tell someone to go down range while no one's looking and try to throw a fucking discus like a frisbee to them. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. All right. <laughs> 
it's look chat okay i would never willfully say i want to see someone hurt themselves but okay i've seen some unbelievably stupid shit to the point where i genuinely have to accept darwinism is a thing for a reason i have seen fucking high tier stupid i have seen some of the most powerful concentrations of dumb that it, it shakes you to your goddamn core okay and as long as the person isn't getting maimed if someone like breaks a fucking bone doing something extremely stupid I say they got what was coming to them and they learned a lesson they'll never forget and they're better off for it sometimes. Like, genuinely. I have seen some stupid. Some fucking stupid stupid. Oh, man. Oh, they'll forget it and do it again. Yeah, I mean, I've also, yeah, I've seen a lot of stupid kids that go on to continue to do stupid, st stupid stuff. But, yeah. Story time. It's like another time, <laughs> another that stuff's there's some that are like actually really fucking so cringe. I don't think I can do them right now. I've been cringing a lot today. Chat. I, I've had I've had a lot of cringe right now. Any felonies? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Nothing that bad. Nothing that bad. Plunger story. Ooh, yeah, that's... That one's on the lighter side, actually. Plunger... Sorry, right, chat. In, my, in the boys' locker room in Trek, there was a plunger. Uh, a plunger. Uh... People just fuck around with it like idiots. I would never would. I would be like, oh yeah, this is stupid. We use that on the toilets. Why are you like plunging people's face? Why are you trying to plunge someone's face with it? Like, stop that. I would stay away from it and no one would fuck with me. I'm big. Okay? But I'd, well, I wouldn't like be like, get that plunger away from that guy's face. I'd be like, yeah, just fucking do it. Like, let's see what happens. I'm not egging people on to do it, but I'm watching. Then one day, one of the big boys, one of the big boys... One of those big fucking boys, one of the seniors, runs into the middle of the thing with the plunger and sticks it to the roof and says, check this one out. He says, he just got a gold medal in 400 run. Okay, he's on top of the world right now. And he fucking jumps up and tries to swing off the plunger on the roof of the fucking locker room. He fucking fell so fast, so hard full back his back landed straight chat okay perpendicular to his back perfectly centered was a bench in the goddamn locker room you want to jump a bench with it full weight all back down onto a bench a wooden bench on the ground now it wasn't a bench with a back it was like a just a normal flat bench man he, he really, he really, he didn't, he didn't scream and he didn't audibly cry, but dude, you know, when you just see someone and you know, they're doing everything they can to act like it's not a big deal. And in their head, they are fucking internally screaming so fucking hard. This guy was just sitting there like staring at the ceiling, laughing like trying to laugh while well, we're all we aren't laughing everyone's like because <laughs> like i first thing that goes through my head is this guy just paralyzed himself he's not moving and he's just sitting there he slides off and he just goes ow and then he just starts shaking like he goes ow like everything's cool and then like all the pain hits him from what just happened and he just starts shaking really hard as he like gets up and like someone like helps him away and like He's just shaking and his like eyes are starting to like water up from the pain. It was bad. It was a bad, it was real bad. He's lucky he didn't fucking break something bad down there. That it was like full body weight swinging into a fucking, cause like the thing is chat, he, it didn't just, in, the plunger didn't just instantly break off. Okay. It held him up for about a half a second. 
So he had enough time to mo like get the momentum to swing to the other side, and then the plunger let go right at the fucking maximum arch of the swing when he would have let go anyways. So he didn't get a chance to actually swing because it gave out right at the last second. So it was like the perfect storm, the exact worst release time. It was bad. It was real bad. It was real bad. So, yeah, he, uh, he, he's living, I hope he's living his best life out there. That's all I gotta say. I hope he's living his best life. Okay, cause holy hell. I feel like you don't make a mistake like that ever again. Tell the paddle story now. I will not do paddle story. That one, that one was actually fucked up and more so than anything, paddle story is the exact reason I fucking hated my coaches in soccer. I thought they were scumbags because paddle story Genuinely, everyone saw it, including three coaches, and they all let it happen. And, like, paddle stories should not have existed. Those coaches had to watch this kid get chased down by seniors and paddled. Good shit, coaches, you fucking scumbags. You guys should be fired. I don't care, like, if it's hazing or what. You guys should have been, they should have been fired. If I didn't want to dox myself, I'd say their fucking names because I think they're scum. Like, <laughs> genuinely. Like, they should have been fired. Like, a four fucking adults watched it happen, and they heard this- they heard the sound of this paddling coming from the locker room as they walked up to it, and the kids screaming. And, like, they just let- they didn't do anything. Like, that was one where I was not, I, I was like, what the fuck? That was my, like, one of the last, that was, like, when I left the soccer team. I was like, this is, this is, like, fucked. Like, it was fucked. And, like, it's not, it's, yeah, it's the fault of the, it's, the, like, it, it does, obviously, the senior who did it, you know, got in trouble in post, because, like, the thing is, the senior who did this thing, that paddled this kid for getting off the bus before the varsity team got off. Like, that's what happened. The varsity team gets off the bus before the junior varsity team for some stupid fucking reason. It was dumb. But that's what happens. Junior varsity kid gets up and goes, and the uh, senior immediately runs after him. Full speed sprint. And grabs a paddle from the lo his locker in the locker room. And beats the shit out of him with it. Uh, now... Uh, yeah. The thing is, everyone knew it was happening. Because he yelled out that he was going to paddle anyone that got off the bus before him. That wasn't a, uh, varsity player. So we knew it was coming. I had, I was in the back. I wasn't getting off anytime soon. Anyways, I didn't care. But, uh, no one actually thought he was going to do it. And then when he did it, and everyone saw him run after him, the coaches, everyone watched it happen. Heard it happening. And didn't stop him. Like, they got in trouble in post. Like, a day later, he gets, like, a temporary suspension. And it's like, hey, did you guys think about, like, stopping it while it was happening? Like, are you guys, are the adults here afraid of this kid? Like, he wasn't that big. Like, I wasn't getting involved because I'm a student and I don't want to get in fucking trouble. But, like, holy shit. What? Teachers were scared of him. Teachers were pussies then. Like, they can go to hell. It's always pissed me off when, like, fucking... And I genuinely think that this is why the scum... Like, it is a teacher's fucking job in a school to make sure the students aren't ripping each other to shreds. And if you can't do that as a teacher, you should be fucking fired. And you should lose your ability to teach. Because that's one of your jobs is to keep kids from ripping each other to shreds. F if you can't do that, go fuck yourself. You are scum to me. Like, I've known a lot of really good teachers that always fucking watch out for everyone. Like, everyone. And that's what makes a good teacher is you have the gut. You, like, you're not afraid to fucking yell at a kid. Like, fuck them. Fuck these kids. Like, they don't, they don't fucking, like, you can yell at them. Who cares? What are they going to do? They're a kid. 
yell at them. Like, tell them they're being a fucking idiot and move on. Like, these teachers are, like, afraid to fucking yell at people. And, like, discipline students until the problem has passed. And, like, oh my god. It made me mad. It made me mad that, like, like, students had to, like, step up and police each other because the teachers fucking wouldn't step in and, like, stop shit from happening. Dumb. Paddle story makes me actually angry. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty fucked up. Uh, it's not as whimsical as, uh, the horrible plunger story. For sure. For sure. For sure, for sure. It was one time that, uh, this one was real bad. Uh, there was a storage container, you know, like one of those metal, like rectangle boxes in the back of our school. And, uh, one of the fucking guys thought it'd be funny to hide in it. Oh, I, that was real good. Cause he goes in there. It's like, it's used for like storing track equipment. And wouldn't you know it, he definitely gets locked in there for an hour or two. Because he's hiding in there trying to be sneaky to scare someone, but no one goes in. And then the coach padlocks it closed, as he's supposed to. Why would someone hide in there? Why would anyone do that? It's a track, it's a storage box. And no one heard him. Like, this is a big, con it's a thick walls in this container. <laughs> And like our track, like the field we use for track is so far away. It's like a quarter mile away. We've left, we're gone. It's like down a hill and then like another quarter mile across a field. Like it's a big field. It's like one of those, it's like a school. It's a, like three schools together. So like it's a big field shared for all the schools, long distance to travel. So we're nowhere near this guy. And we're like, where is he? Like, <laughs> where's uh, where's Carl? Like where, what happened to Carl? Oh, man. The only good thing was, uh, you know, I give a lot of shit to my, like, soccer coaches and stuff because they were fucking idiots. Actually fucking scum. But my, uh, my track coach was... was the bomb. He was the bomb. He was, like, a real old guy. Like, a real old guy. He was the bomb. Hell yeah. Don't just leave this on a cliffhanger. Well, he died. The guy died. He never got out. We found his body, you know, months later. Mummified. Yeah. We definitely didn't go put our track equipment away at the end of the fucking practice session, like three hours later, and find him in there fucking, like, scared out of his wits and, like, sweaty as shit. And you know what my... You know what the coach did? My old old man coach he started laughing his ass off and calling him a fucking idiot i dude that kid got what was coming to him in that case dude he got this kid was like he hid underneath a he hid underneath like fucking stuff in the room like you had to look underneath something to find him it was like hide and seek you get what's coming to you like 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 idiot idiot Lesson learned, he was fine. There was no way we wouldn't have found him. Like, we go in there at the end of every practice. To be honest, coach should have checked if someone was there. Okay, do you check underneath your bed every night before you go to sleep? Or like behind every shirt in your closet? For like monsters? Unless you're Sput? Do you check underneath your car every day to make sure there's not someone lurking underneath it? Do you like go into the back of your house and check behind all the boxes to make sure there's no one hiding behind the boxes today? Like, no, because who the fuck is gonna be in there? Like, if you find someone in there anyways, you're already dead. Like, I was never, as a kid, I was never a person that checked underneath their bed or in their closet for monsters, because I was like, well, if they're in there, I'm dead. Like, if I check, they're just gonna kill me. So I'm not gonna check. I'd rather not know. You know? Oh, my neck. Ah. Oh. Like, what am I going to, what chance do I have 
if I do find them. It's not like I can be like, you have to get out now. I found you. That's the rules. No, they're going to get me. They're going to fucking kill me. You know? Dude, I'm going to have to... Dude, the title for the stream today... Definitely didn't age well, huh? The title... The title today, hello. Looks like the, uh, looks like the eggnog market died after all. Uh, looks like we didn't save the egg eggnog market. It looks like it's over. You know? Mm. Aged like fine eggnog, yes. A wonderful eggnog, a beautiful dog. Beautiful, delicious eggnog. I hate, I hate it. Who drinks eggnog in June? Dude. It's so bad. Eggnog's so bad. Oh my god. Eggnog is amazing. What the fuck? Dude. Dude. Checking who likes and dislikes eggnog is how I know like who I'm better than, you know? Like if you say you like eggnog, I know I'm better than you. And that makes me feel better. It's how I lift my fucking self-esteem every day. You know? Like I feel I know I'm better than you now. Small victories, small wins. 35 year old streamer hates on eggnog. I am 24. I don't look 35. If I look old at all, uh, it's because you guys are fucking aging me, okay? Like, I'm I'm forced to deal with your shit and the bags underneath my eyes get worse and fucking worse because you guys are fucking killing me. You're killing me. You're killing me. Ah, yes. 44-year-old streamer blames audience for his age. He's been 24 for 20 years, Chet. <laughs> I could lie pretty well, though. Like, if I, if I was... If I was 40 right now, you wouldn't believe me. Like, in reality, if I was like, yeah, I'm 40, you wouldn't fucking believe me. You'd, you'd believe me as a bit. And be like, yeah, I would, dude, because you're like, it's a stream. I'm gonna lie. But like, come on. Real age reveal. Dude. You look like someone who I know to be 40. Yeah. No, 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 chat. Chat, look, okay? Look, at the end of the day, okay, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. My, my age, okay, it, it doesn't matter for my work if I am, you know, it doesn't, it does, none of that matters. Okay. Is this a roast at all? Like, no, chat, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This happened, this happened the last three times I've used webcam on stream for these intros, which are now the entire stream, unfortunately. Um... I start the stream without showing my face and people say, where is the, where is it? Where is it? I want to see, show me that smile. Show me that smile. And it's all just a fucking social engineering trick because the second it turns on, like you guys crack your fucking necks, you crack your knuckles. Ooh, here he is, 80 year old Malding streamers back again, dude. And like you fucking immediately, I'm getting thrown around. I'm getting fucking thrown around because you guys don't even wait a second. Like, I will watch someone go from, where's that fucking webcam? Where's that handsome boy? And then literally their next message, less than five seconds later is, oh, mega lol, he's so bald, he's 85, he's already dead. Like, you guys know that you look insane. Okay. You look insane. Like you are fucking unhinged. Already dead Omega lol. He's been dead this whole time.
Says the guy in a wig. You'd never know, because I'll never let anything pull on my hair. Maybe I am wearing a wig. Maybe I'm not even a ginger. You'd never know. Because nothing, nothing's ever going to grab my hair. All right. Fake eyebrows, too. Mm -mm. Nope. These are real. These are real. Reptilian. I mean, I already told you guys it's all deep fake. Like, I already, I already, we already covered that. Tomato has a soul. Dude, you know what fucking kills me? You know what gets me every fucking time and it's still funny? You know what's still funny? The ginger joke, dude. Woo. Yo, that one fucking kills me to this day. It's never gonna not be funny. It's never gonna not be funny. It's always funny. It's always relevant. It's always killing me. It's always here. Never gets old, dude. Never. I'll, I'll, I'd rather die, all right, than not have my gut busted every single time someone says I don't have a soul. I won't have it. Uh-uh. I won't let it. I say, holding back tears. Wanting to die a little more every time someone fucking says it. Dude. Haven't heard that one before. <laughs> Dude, I had fucking comedians back in elementary school dropping that on me. And I'll tell you what, their delivery could have used some work, okay? One thing I did learn, I got sent through the ringer as a kid, all right? I got sent through the goddamn ringer, all right? But, hey, it made me more powerful. Do you confront the Jokers? Well, why would I? I mean, the second someone makes a, like, ginger joke, even back then, and especially now, they're outing themselves as the most cringe thing in the fucking ecosystem. And, like, that, that's punishment enough. I don't need to participate. Like, that's, they're, they're immediately fucking outing themselves. Like, that, that's, like, <laughs> that's real bad, dude. <laughs> the, the Krongo system, yeah, you can't do that. You can't come out and do that. Hey, Chief. Hey, Chief. You're doing good, man. <laughs> Krungo, I use bonus action to disengage. Oh, yeah. There's that D&D &D humor, too. You remind me of Stephen Merchant, but not British? Thanks. I don't know who any actor is or anything from anything, so I have no idea who that is. But it's really nice of you to say it, whoever that is. Thanks. Just as old as Stephen Merchant. Here we fucking go, chat. Here we go. Hey, how low was that f that fruit? Was there worms in that already? How fucking... This guy's like 80, you're banned, all right? You're done. All right. 46. All right, chief, honest opinion. Okay, I want you to do it. You're new here. Okay, how old do I look? Be honest. Don't lie. Don't do it for goofs. Just tell me honestly. 31. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Stop it. Stop. Forever 31, though, is a thing. I'm gonna look like this forever. Mark my words. Hey, all right, look, at the end of the day, I've seen some real good looking 30 something year olds. All right, that's fine. I'm not breaking the 40s, okay? It's the facial hair. What facial hair? Dude, you guys are out of your mind. 
I'm trying to, this is just, uh, you haven't shaved today. That's only here because I didn't shave today. Like I shaved yesterday. This is one day. I like the scruff. I like having a little bit of fucking, I like having something here. I didn't realize everyone thought that aged me 20 years. Calm down, old man. Go shave right now. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Damn chat, tearing down tomato up in here. Dude, you guys can't actually get to me. Let me make something clear. All right. If you think I'm about to take anything personally from chat, yo, you guys are fucking delusional. You're insane. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Are you fucking crazy? Yeah, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. I've seen you guys. I've seen what you do, okay? Glasses, ha 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 ha. Dude, you know what I have a problem with though? My glasses are almost always foggy and like fucking dirty. Like I can barely see through these things right now. You guys can't see it, but it's like messy. These things are messy and I never clean them. I never like wipe off the glass. I'm usually like almost completely blind. I've always got a smudge like right now. Oh my God, it's like the whole thing. The whole thing is smudge. And like, I never have like a glass, like a cloth that's made for glasses. So they're always bad. Use a lens wipe. I don't have them. And I just made it worse by wiping my glasses. But why? But why? Why what? I need the AC back on. Aw, oh, dang, the AC broke again. Ah. Oh. Damn it! My, my it, it, it fucking broke again. The whole fucking thing. Is there a wasp in there? Dude. In all honesty, I paid a lot of money for that fucking AC unit and I got, I feel like I got scammed. I feel like I got fucking owned. Like, you know what I mean? Like this, the AC said, and I guess it's my fault for believing in what a, like a, like advertisement says. AC said quiet. It said quiet, all caps, very quiet. And when I got it, did you look at the reviews? Yeah, and most of them were like, here's the thing, 50% of them were like, it's okay. And the other, then there was like 25% that were like, this thing is so fucking loud, I feel like there is a car in my house. And then there was like another 25% that were like, yeah, I've never, I don't even think that, I forget this thing's on sometimes. And then I wake up dead because I froze to death in my own house. That's how quiet this thing is. So, I'm guessing those people were paid to say that. Or I got a really bad model. Like the other people that said it was terrible. I don't know. Look, at the end of the day, I don't need AC running during my stream most of the time. It's just I woke up late today. Because I fucked up bad. And, uh, you know. Is it one of those freestanding ACs? Yeah, I used to have one that went to the window. But Bugs used that as a way to uh, get me. So uh, I, I got rid of that when it was dirty. Dirty was over. It was, that, that dream was over. It died. I'm late. What happened to the game? Dude, it's always such like a dark thing. I'm late. Tomato's not in the game yet. What, what, what happened? What was wrong with it? What did it do? What did it do? I beat it. I won. I actually beat it. Believe it or not. It wasn't very long. I won the game. Yeah, the game broke. I tried to turn it on and it, uh, it said I had to, uh, yeah, it just didn't launch. It didn't work. I couldn't turn it on. If Tomato uses AC, is he being refrigerated? 
my hair's getting more and more disheveled as time goes on, and it's because of you. I'm basically deciding when my stream ends now, based off of, like, how, how bad the mop is on my head. Mess it up more, no. But like even in the back is getting pretty bad. Uh, is it a wig? No. Go shave it, no. Look chat. Okay, look. Look. I, I hate you. I don't want to go for much longer because my throat hurts really bad and will probably continue to hurt for the next three days and I have to do a long stream tomorrow. So you have to give me a good reason to stay now. Right now. Now! You have to give me a good reason to stay. Why are you always so quiet in the D&D &D streams? Verp's always so quiet. I don't know, because you can hear me fine right now, yeah? And I don't use any external audio changes for OBS. Everything here is completely 100% the same as what goes into Discord. Everything. So... I don't even boost the audio of the mic going into it. Hey! Morbid Morris with the five gifted subs and the MF Goof! Thank you for the five gifted subs! As well, thanks. Thanks. Omnitech, thanks for the five dollars. My AC is broken, I can't turn it on. Care to trade? It's only 80 in here, wish I was kidding. I can't survive past like 75. I can't survive past 75 at all. It's getting worse, yeah I know. Yeah, I know. Look, chat. My throat hurts. All right. Gotta start wrapping it up. Tomorrow's gonna be heftier because I got, I got some game plans, okay? Eggnog. People are really gonna wonder about that title on the VOD channel. People are really gonna... People are gonna get really confused about that in the VOD channel. They're not gonna understand what the eggnog thing's about. They're gonna get, they're gonna get, they're gonna be lost. But, uh, yeah. A little, still little three hours. But, like, three hours for just talking the whole time is pretty good. That's like a, that's like a podcast. That's like a long podcast at that. Uh, I'm done. I gotta go. I need to, I need to, like, rest my throat. Because I have D&D &D with Brett in two hours. A little over two hours. But, uh, I'm going to send you guys over there now. Um, we are doing the Cosmicara super fight today. It's the end of the current phase. We may have a third season or like a another season for goblins. Technically, we might. Cocohesion, thanks for the 1500 bits. Love you, Tab Toe. I got promoted and I dedicate it to you. Have some of my pay. Thanks. Congratulations on your promotion. Thanks. Uh, yeah, we're doing the, uh, we're doing the big fight today. So, I'm going to send you over to Brett. All right. It's been a long time coming for him. So, please go watch him. I'll be there at 9 p.m. to midnight. 9 to midnight, I will be in the game doing the final phase of the boss. Because it's a long three-phase event. Brett's been doing it for like the last uh, four hours or so. Going to be a big thing. Going to be fun. You start at 9 sharp no matter what. This isn't like a pre-show. At 9 sharp, I am in the game no matter what. Uh, I will at for it again when that happens. But for now, I'm sending you over there. Okay? I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Uh, playing the, the new game by the dev who made the witch hunt game. That hunting game. Okay? I'll see you then. Alright? Goodbye.